we go. The microphone is back on. Uh, what? I saw a creature that uh, set off nails. Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I shouldn't have had that nap before uh, the stream. I'm, I'm just totally, uh, totally asleep yet. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I'll uh, figure out what I'm doing here. Oh boy. Uh, we'll uh, uh, see if I can make this all work here. Oh, anyway, I'm still, uh, well, at least, at least I figured out who was first. I remembered that. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, get things done here one thing at a time. That darn squirrel distracted me. And, uh, yep, a speedy Pepsi. And I do need some Pepsi, some sugar to wake me up and uh, get me going. That's, uh, that's a definite. Ah, that's a good vintage of that Pepsi. Throws water at Dunk. <laughs> Yay! Don't do that. That's all cold water. Where'd you get that? Out of the ice box? Uh, okay, we'll get to that. Give me a second, uh, Sharon. <laughs> Don't be pushy. If you would have been if you would have been in here right away, you wouldn't have had this problem. <laughs> Snicker. <laughs> um Okay, uh, it was a Chicky Gomberg was the first, uh, so a Chicky gets the uh, lava cookies today. I have no idea how Chicky got in so quick because uh, I had to barely hit the buttons, and um, then poof, she was there. I I just have no idea how she did that. Um, it's uh, and why am I dripping wet? <laughs> oh, hang on, um, Piggy. Why'd you throw water at me? Oh boy. Uh, okay, uh, nope. Uh, don't do it. Uh, Edmonton is still in the ice pack uh, box. Uh, don't throw water and uh, turns into a rock. Yeah, you got it, uh, King Colin. Who was third? Uh, who's on third? <laughs> uh, third person in was, according to uh, what I see here, was uh, Philomena. It was a uh, Chicky, then Lizoid, then Philomena. Then Sherry Hewitt, and then a Scott Hartman came in as a number five. Okay, uh, so you want to be a bad? There you go. I, I nailed it. <laughs> uh, I hope all of you uh, had a good look at the uh, the thumbnail uh, shot of today. And uh, I uh, I hope. I hope you guys uh, are going to be able to guess that one. It's a close-up shot. And uh, I'm very happy it's a close-up shot because that will limit the amount of volcanoes it could be. But it also limits your uh, exposure to the outside world uh, to be able to see what it is. And uh, <laughs> hopefully it, uh, it'll be a little bit of fun. Um, yeah, I, uh, and, uh, it's a volcano. Yeah, <laughs> Sue, congratulations. Uh, very absorbent of you. <laughs> anyway, so we got the first person out of the way. We got the squirrel, his cookie. Uh, so the squirrel is okay. We got Piggy, her crayons and cart. So that's okay. Uh, wasn't that a uh, world of Warcraft? Uh, no, that wasn't World of Warcraft, was it? I thought, uh, hang on, I, uh, I think uh, World of Warcraft, well, they had orgs and things. I'm going to sneeze, hang on here, for some reason. <laughs> Okay, I sneezed twice. <laughs> I managed to turn the microphone off just in time. Oh, it was Mario Brothers. Oh boy. Uh, I thought though World of Warcraft had uh, had these ones in there. Hang on. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a World of Warcraft a photo here of some sort. Um, I'm just looking for it. 
uh, just uh, I think I think I'll find it maybe um, is this uh, this is one of the members of World of uh, World of Warcraft I'm pretty sure that was one of them oh hang on that's not it <laughs> that's Peggy oh never mind okay enough uh, shenanigans and uh, thank you for the uh, the blessings there all right uh status quo asked earlier how is uh, our wonderful arizona snowman doing well as far as i know he uh, uh he was doing okay he uh, got out of the hospital he got back home his uh, blood pressure was back down and uh, things were all right that way so um that was all good and um I don't uh, don't think there's any other problems right now. He was uh, taking it easy, so we're letting him just rest. Oh, oh, he's lurking! I see him uh, there with his uh, wonderful uh, green face and uh, smiling. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think he's okay. He's there. <laughs> he's lurking. He's hiding amongst uh, the uh, amongst the other snow uh, snow fortresses there in the world of warcraft <laughs> anyway uh good to see you arizona snowman and glad to have you on board anyway welcome to our moderators arizona snowman piggy a c and d boy uh, possibly gary 24 7 live he's at skies as well as uh joseph fields texas and uh, maybe a uh, lucas snow so um those are the uh, moderators and uh, we may have others there are the occasional others that pop in, like uh, Susan Bohan, and uh, uh, possibly even uh, uh, many others. Uh, I do have a bunch of other uh, uh, moderators. We might uh, even have someone from uh, Tasmania pop in once in a while and things like that. Uh, everybody's saying hello to Billy Bob Joe. Speaking of uh, Billy Bob Joe, uh, he had a bad pun for today, so we'll get that out of the way too and uh billy bob uh, joe pun coming up uh let's i uh, just grab that out of the email before i forget and uh <laughs> uh it was one of those uh it's one of those bad dad jokes i think uh, but uh, there's the uh, pun of the day uh billy bob joe and uh said uh, did you hear about the guy who got hit in the in the head with a, a can of soda he was lucky it was a soft drink. Uh, <laughs> dad jokes. That's what... Billy Bob Joe, are you a dad? It must be a dad joke thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's... Uh, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Groan. Yeah, groan. Oh, that's uh, that's how I'm working it right now. Grown uh, times uh, four times. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, anyway, obviously uh, you can see what's on the screen. It is a wonderful uh, Siggy Fisher, and uh, that is uh, what uh, we had there from. Oh, when did that come from? The 14th of August in uh, 2022 so uh, that was uh, when that was uh, from but let's get rid of that banner we all know it's Volcano X and uh, let's see if we can uh, come up with something else here um, right off the bat uh, let's uh, stop that video in its tracks there we go and uh, that is the present view of uh, our wonderful uh, West Lava Pond and there at Helamauma'u Crater in Kilauea in Hawaii. And of course, um, you don't see too much uh, stuff going on. You do see some uh, light colored uh, lava uh, right here, the uh, liquidy stuff. Uh, but you also see a lot of smoke. Also, you see a little bit of an area back here that has now collapsed into the, uh, into the lava pond, which is uh, new to us. Uh, so it's uh, changed shape just slightly. And Kim Roudenbush just popped in. Uh, welcome, Kim. Anyway, we're going to say hi to everyone in a second. 
Uh, I want to show the uh, other video first and uh, I do have a, a video uh, that I made last night and I thought it was kind of neat uh, so I'm going to share that with you guys. Um, it does have a soundtrack on it but I'm going to do this anyway so um, it's basically two times regular speed. It's uh, the lava, uh, the crust flipping and uh, it is a little bit on the poor video side but because of all that steam and fog in there or smoke or fog but um, it was kind of neat to see that and uh, I thought that we'd share that and over 200 or 350 people have already viewed the video so I was uh, kind of happy that um, we had that kind of a turnout and uh, it uh, looked quite neat to see it all uh, kind of flip over. The entire um, lava pond basically flipped. And um, that was kind of awesome to see that. And then of course it re-hardens right away or crusts over again. So um, that is, is kind of a neat thing to, uh, to see. And I was very happy to be able to capture that because I hadn't had uh, up, uh, anything uploaded in a couple of um, days here and I was trying to you know see what else can we uh, show you guys so um, that was kind of a neat a little uh, adventure and um, I thought yeah it looked pretty cool uh, to be able to see that um, even during the bad weather I'm surprised that the camera stayed in focus uh, just for that event or uh, partially in focus if you will um, but at least it uh, it showed it and, and that was uh, pretty good um, what a piggy isn't gonna touch what one uh, she doesn't want to touch you Kim <laughs> never mind uh, it fl uh, flipped because uh, it uh, filled uh, so fast I'm not sure I think there must have been a surge of um, lava from underneath or magma come up somewhere and uh, cause that to flip that's what I'm thinking uh, Sharon um, I because there was such poor focus on the camera prior to that it was difficult for me to tell if there was a surge of any kind going in there it looked like a glowy area but uh, we couldn't see it and uh, then afterwards of course here this is the end result where you can see it um, after re crusted over and, and started cracking up again uh, but it didn't flip again which is kind of good though but um, still um, pretty uh, pretty awesome hmm uh, foundering foundering okay uh, Sarah Miles <laughs> welcome anyway we'll say hello to everyone we're gonna uh, uh, take that video off and uh, we will uh, um, put it back on uh, what's happening live there right now and I'm gonna say hello to everyone in the chat so we'll start out by saying hi to Alba girl and uh, Hermian and Fluffy and Sarah Miles and Sharon Stewart I can hear you and uh, Sherry Hewitt and uh, Sasha and uh, let's see Adele um, Adele 51 and uh, Kevin Haynes and uh, King Colin Dedman the man with the submarine and of course uh, Kim Roddenbush <laughs> uh, Scott Hartman also in uh, Ken Wilson is here Billy Bob Joe is here and uh, going up looking for others now since I got all those out of the way and um, let's see uh, we got Ken Wilson uh, Kevin Haynes we got yep um, Philomena is here and uh, who else have we got uh, scrolling up now looking I know I seen Steven earlier welcome and uh, status quo also in the house uh, good to see you status quo and uh, let's see uh, who else is in here Diane Craig welcome back uh, still scrolling up looking uh, for more wonderful names and uh, who do we got uh, we got Scott already and Chicky Gomberg of course who got the cookies I still have no idea how Chicky got in so quickly I, I did not turn anything on live yet and all of a sudden she's there in the chat and uh, I'm like huh 
<laughs> How did that work? Uh, did I say Diane Craig? I think so. Um, still scrolling up looking for other wonderful people. And um, who else we got in here? Uh, do, 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 do. I'm still scrolling, 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 looking for more wonderful names. There were a lot of chatty people, though, which is uh, really good. We do enjoy that. Uh, did we say Ken Wilson? I think so. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Stephen Field, we got you already. And uh, let's see, I'm still scrolling up. People throwing water on me. Tom Dice and Pepper are here as well. Good to have you on board. And uh, he's getting his stuff ready for the uh, the big shindig coming up there. And uh, was making me hungry earlier. I want goulash too. And uh, elk steak. Um, let's see, I think I'm up as far as I can go. I don't see any others uh, for right now. If I did not say your name, uh, you can yell at me all you want. <laughs> <laughs> I won't hear you. Uh, Lizoid is here. Welcome, Lizoid. Um, anyway, if I did miss your name, it's not intentional. Um, I try to uh, say hi to everyone here, but uh, it happens. Uh, so, hey, uh, Marie, Miri, um, we got you, Philomena. Um, let's see. Um, all right, did I miss someone else on the bottom here? We got Sherry Hewitt. We got Ken. Yeah, I think I got you all. If I missed you, though, uh, you can always yell at me. Anyway, um, so, yeah, that's what we're seeing there at uh, our Hawaiian crater right now. A darn spelling thing. Yeah, auto-incorrect is nasty, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's uh, take a look at the other pictures uh, real quick i got to get my other screen working. And uh, this, of course, is the uh, camera on the uh, south side of um, the uh, crater. And uh, you can see what looks like a, a drained ocean over here. Uh, the lava lake has uh, been drained. And you see islands of, of lava. And uh, still no new lava. Lava Gator is still over here somewhere. Um, I think right here, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. He's got an island beside him, though, now. And a bigger, uh, bigger island, and of course you can see the outline where uh, the uh, lava lake used to be. And uh, unfortunately, uh, still has not refilled, even though we had some quakes. Um, Dr. Fox did miss uh, Sue Hayes. Did uh, what? Sue, yell, Sue. Did I miss you, Sue? Sue, I'm sorry. Uh, cayenne a pepper. Uh oh. Don't do that. I'm gonna uh, goulash was my uh, dad's uh, speciality. Um, actually, my mother used to uh, make a really really good uh, goulash. Uh, in uh, Germany, she put in uh, what uh, we refer to as the mushrooms called uh, pfefferling. I don't have no idea what you translate that to over here in uh, the English language, but uh, pfefferling and uh, that was uh, very very tasty I remember that uh, so much mmm uh, speaking of my mother um, I was on the phone with her last night and uh, somehow some way uh, she broke her arm and uh, I have no idea how she did it uh, so she broke her right arm uh, just above the wrist um, and uh, it's absolutely weird um but uh anyway uh i hope she heals up yeah that's you know, not something you want to have happening uh, you know when you're 80 some years old and uh, then you end up with that um this of course is our b1 camera and you can see uh over off in the uh, distance uh, there there's uh Pig, pig Island, and uh, of course, still some steam coming from this other area out in the front here, and um, yeah, it's uh, kind of what we've got going on there, and let's see, this 
was from yesterday. Let me refresh this, see if we have a better shot. Yep, much nicer today. A lot less um, rain happening there, so a lot less steam. And uh, we can see a little bit more. Here's the old vent and the old Hornito smoking there. Of course, here's our West Lava Pond. Here's uh, Pig Island there. There's the other vent that is still smoking a little bit. And our Lavigator's way out here. And uh, we aren't uh, seeing uh, too much activity there right now other than the lava in the West uh, Pond. And uh, that is uh, um, what we got. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, thermal. And uh, this, of course, was uh, from yesterday. And uh, we're going to uh, refresh that and see what it looks like right now. And um, that is what we've got right now on that thermal. And that is a little bit of a, a well, it's not really a surprise. It's interesting, okay? Uh, remember what we were just watching with the, uh, the lava flip? The, uh, the lava was coming in on this side. Well, take a look where the lava is right there. Uh, no, they weren't portobello mushrooms. They were very small, little skinny, uh, well, they were tall, skinny mushrooms, and not portobello. Um, I don't know what the actual translation is. Uh, they were from uh, northern Germany, uh, but um, very, uh, very uh, thin little guys. Yeah, so um, remember what we were saying here about uh, the... Uh, uh, the migration of uh, the lava fountain underneath here, so the source area, of course, it was out here underneath uh, where our wonderful um, uh, lavigator is, then it moved over here to the uh, central pond, and then it moved to this side of Pig Island, and then, of course, it uh, was pouring in on this corner, and uh, it, it does not surprise me to see it hot over here again, and um, you know, we are still seeing uh, some hot spots down in this area as well, um, down in the bottom. And it makes me wonder if we're going to see more coming out of there in the uh, future or maybe reactivation of the old event West event here uh, or the Hornito, perhaps, or maybe even a brand new uh, vent opening up. You never know what could happen there. <coughs> Um, lower arm is easier to deal with, uh, um, what, uh, yeah, yeah, and it is just above her wrist, unfortunately, yeah, it's, um, you know, it's, it's not good, um, but I, uh, I hope it heals up, and, you know, she's, um, she's 85, so it's gonna take a little while to heal, and, uh, I hope, um, hope things do heal for her. Anyway, interesting to see what we've got there in Hawaii. All cool. Let's uh, leave that be. I'm going to make that a little smaller for now. And we will go over to Iceland and uh, see what the heck is going on there. And uh, Iceland, of course, um, kind of an interesting day there. I did a peek um, at the... Uh, stuff that was going on there trying to figure out what best to describe it as other than you know the normal icelandic chaos um there's our weather for today kind of this was uh, 10 hours ago it shows you what uh, it was like there at about 10 minutes before 11 a.m uh, lots of uh, low cloud in the area uh, looked like uh, perhaps raining again uh, and um, you don't see any new snow, which is uh, a good thing. And if we move that ahead a little bit, um, it was almost almost some sunshine a little um, there, a little later, but still very low clouds. Don't see any snow left or not very much on that uh, mountain in the back here. So uh, that's kind of what we got. And uh, let's uh, go over to uh, one of the other uh, shots from the uh, Perlin Center. And of course, this is the airport shot. Uh, looks nice at night. Let's uh, go take a look at uh, what it looked like uh, around 10 a.m. 
and uh, that gives you a pretty good idea. No snow in on the uh, grassy areas at the uh, Perlin Center or anywhere on the uh, airport uh, grasses. So um, raindrop stuff, and uh, we do still see a little bit of snow in the woods here, and I'm sure that it's okay for uh, the bunnies that are there. And uh, we'll uh, see. Uh, Aurora may be uh, visible here. Oh, cool. Uh, back later. All right. Um, hopefully, uh, you'll be able to see something if you have clear skies. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of what we were seeing there. i put that one back on live and make it uh, small again. Go to the next one. And, uh, of course, uh, that is a, our, a shot of Catla. Unfortunately, again, um, clouds are not our friend and uh, that is what it was looking like earlier they definitely had some rain and uh, possibly snow on Catla itself if we uh, go ahead a little bit in time and that was uh, from about 11 hours ago this is about uh, 10 hours ago didn't look much better and then um, if we uh, go a little further ahead it looks like they had more people uh, visiting here but um, Still not that great as far as being able to see over onto Catla itself. And uh, today is a day I really want to see Catla. And uh, the reason is uh, there's a bunch of quakes there. And uh, they were larger quakes and they were surface quakes. So I am curious as I'll get out. But uh, looking at the amount of rain coming down, uh, not a good day unless you're a duck or a a puffin. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, look, red lights, aliens. No, that's uh, somebody starting their car. Never mind. Uh, let's uh, go over to the harmonic tremor chart, see what that, that is doing. And uh, here's our wonderful uh, Frankel Alfell. Of course, we uh, start with that one because that is where our wonderful Ragnar and Siggy Fisher are. And uh, I'm going to refresh that one real quick just to make sure it's up to date. Uh, it was close, but not quite, and we do see a couple of uh, spikes in here, um, small ones though, and some a little uh, little tremor activity, uh, so uh, that's kind of um, what we uh, seen there today. Um, I guess uh, it's uh, steady as she goes right now. We'll see how things uh, come along. Let's go up uh, to uh, the Astia one and take a look and uh, see... Uh, what uh, that looks like and so uh, there's Astia and uh, lots of uh, uh, traffic or activity underneath Astia we do see some spikes and uh, that's almost like a repeat of uh, the other day here where we see the uh, double whammies of uh, quakes uh, stacked together one after another possibly one triggering the other one and then a bunch of uh, smaller ones in the area as well so yeah very unstable and Astia of course is um, primed to erupt and uh, we'll uh, see what happens and you know the uh, saying from the volcanologists is it's not a matter of will it erupt it's a matter of when will it erupt and um, I'm still on the fence on that one though um, who's having a bad hair day I don't have any hair I can't have a bad hair day. <laughs> uh, I used to, but um, I got rid of that. Um, yeah, I went and got a haircut. Uh, that uh, removes the uh, bad hair day problem. Um, let's see. Let's uh, go uh, slide down here. We'll uh, take a look at the uh, Grimsey one, which is our uh, northernmost sensor there for Iceland. And uh, steady as she goes for a uh, Grimsey. So... I'm not seeing too much uh, there. I think uh, that is not going to do anything major. Our uh, Grinovic one is uh, still broken. I'm still waiting for Alex to, to go out there and kick that sensor and uh, get it going again. But, um, you know, it's one of those things. Uh, sometimes he gets uh, sidetracked. <laughs> uh, next one we want to look at is uh, Krusevic, and uh, we'll see uh, what it is doing. Uh, since uh, Krisovic is on the uh, northeast uh, side of uh, Frankenaufjell. And uh, let's see, uh, there is uh, the uh, Krisovic uh, uh, one. 
and uh, kind of the same thing uh, we uh, dropped down went up went down and now it's steady as she goes so activity is there but uh, we're not seeing anything major uh, popping or happening and uh, I'm hoping that we will see uh, something uh, uh, you know uh, shake loose there if you will so uh, let's see uh, who else uh, popped in here Patriot Roydy uh, welcome uh, glad to have you on board and uh, let's uh, get over and have a quick peek at our earthquakes there in Iceland and it looks like uh, we've had uh, 43 earlier I was looking there was only a 38 but uh, let's have a quick peek and see what we've got going on there right now. Uh, Reykjavik Peninsula, of course, here. The capital city of Reykjavik. And the airport is over here. Grindavik down here. And, of course, uh, the Blue Lagoon right in here. And the uh, power plant. Uh, but uh, let's uh, take a look at the two that are way out here in the water. Uh, 1716, we had a magnitude 0.6 from 18.3 kilometers down. Very deep. Uh, the other one at 720, a 1.5 in magnitude, 13.2 uh, kilometers down. And that is quite a ways uh, down. Um, really makes the guy wonder what is going on. And uh, we uh, get over on to uh, the uh, peninsula. And then, of course, uh, uh, there's uh, Grindavik. And uh, there we see the uh, power plant. And uh, there is uh, this little guy. And it is in the Grindavik area. And of course, it's from 9.43, a point five five in magnitude, uh, five kilometers down for him. Uh, then we don't see anything in our Fragadelfjall area, which is uh, this outline right here. And uh, unfortunate, but um, there's a Siggy, uh, Siggy Fisher uh, there and uh, Ragnar right down here at the end of uh, this row. Uh, we uh, do see these. We have uh, from a 15.20, a 0.67, uh, 5.7 kilometers down. Then we've got uh, two stacked up here. A 1.16, a 5.3 kilometers down from uh, 2, uh, 16 a.m. And from uh, 9.46, we had a 2.34. And uh, that's uh, six and a half uh, kilometers down for uh, that guy. We'll uh, carry on here. I know it's getting close to uh, break time. We'll uh, take a look at uh, a couple more here. So uh, we've got uh, this one from a 3, uh, 28 a.m., 1.82, 4.8 kilometers down. Uh, we'll uh, grab these three up here. We got a 0, 6.1 kilometers down from a 21, a 26. Uh, the next one over a 0.7, 4.9 kilometers down, a 21, 26 again. And then we've got another one, same time, a 0.9, 4.4 kilometers down for him. Um, couple down here in the swamplands. <laughs> I, I know it's uh, just lower, lower land. It's not really swamp. Um, three point or three o four a.m. Point nine six uh, seven point nine kilometers down. The other one is a point two and uh, seven point two kilometers down from a twenty twenty six. And uh, let's see, and we slide over a little bit more, and uh, that is from a twenty a thirty six a point two. 5.2 kilometers down for him and I will save this for after the break and uh, this is over here in Katla that's why I wanted to see Katla um, but uh, there are a bunch in here and uh, they're close to the surface so we'll uh, see what we've got anyway for right now I'm gonna go take a break and uh, we'll uh, do our thing after the break so uh, for those good people who are here, I'm going to put you back on the wonderful lava I had uh, pulled up. And uh, that is, of course, uh, from the Siggy Fisher. And uh, hopefully uh, that will be uh, good lava to uh, let you watch. Uh, for those who have not yet hit the like button, please do consider hitting the like button if you're enjoying the show. Also, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, sitting out on the uh, Lurker's Lounge, uh, kind of peeking in, uh, please do subscribe if you feel we've earned it. On that friendly note, uh, the only other thing I've got to add is, have you had a look at the thumbnail today? And um, I kind of have to chuckle because uh, um, I even fooled Yvonne Kunkel today. And uh, she is a volcanologist and uh, she had no idea. <laughs> 
um, uh, put it this way, her guess was wrong. Uh, uh, actually, her first three guesses were wrong. Uh, so I felt very proud. Anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, don't go away. Keep smiling. Hit that like button. And uh, it's uh, all fun. Thanks, guys. Music. Cue the music. Turn the mic off. Is it off? It's off now. No, it's not.
And there we go. Microphone is back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. Glad to have you all on board. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and you're watching Volcano X live stream. And uh, let's see. Uh, thanks for the uh, welcome backs from uh, Sasha and Sue and um, Scott and Kevin and uh, Sherry and uh, Hermian and Fluffy. And uh, welcome to uh, Serotonin. <laughs> And uh, I think I got everybody. Okay. Um, and I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000. And uh, why you got an umbrella? Is it raining there, Sharon? It must be raining there. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, stop our wonderful lava uh, for a minute or two or uh, three. And, uh, yep, um, it's uh, raining here. Okay, well, you stay dry and, uh, don't use, uh, don't use your, uh, phone out in the rain <laughs> or, or tablet or whatever you're using. Uh, I don't think they're made for that. Uh, San Francisco Bay Area dripping uh, rainy uh, skies. Uh, so you do still have that system sitting there uh, raining on you. All right, no worries. Let's uh, get back over to uh, where we were. Uh, Javier, uh, welcome. And uh, what volcano is this? Uh, the volcano we were just looking at, uh, that was the uh, Siggy Fisher in uh, the Meridalia Valley. And uh, that is in Iceland. And uh, that is actually over, over here. If we uh, zoom in on the map, uh, that is right in here. <laughs> just so you know. Uh, since uh, that's what we were doing is going over the earthquakes and hopefully that explains uh, that no that was not Kilauea that was uh, uh, there in the Reykjans uh, Peninsula uh, in uh, Fregadafjall and uh, there's uh, this is where Ragnar was and this is where the uh, Siggy Fisher was and uh, hopefully uh, that uh, made uh, makes a sense uh, to you Anyway, we were going over the earthquakes here, so let's uh, take a look at uh, Katla in Iceland, of course. And um, we uh, did have a whole bunch of uh, quakes in uh, the, the area of Katla, which was uh, kind of uh, very interesting to see. Anyway, uh, 2048, uh, we had a 1.99 and 1.8 kilometers down, and that is interesting. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with Katla, this is the entire caldera, that outline right there. Uh, and uh, this was happening within the caldera, and it's fairly recent activity. So let's uh, go through uh, some of them. Uh, this is a 1.63, and that was 497 meters down, likely just below the ice level, uh, right at the ground level. And that came in at 1938. And next one over 100, uh, what, 661 meters down. And that was a 2.26 2 from a 1451. And next one, a 2.49, 135 meters down from 1937. And next one over a 2.57. And uh, that is 135 meters down, or surface quake as we call them. And uh, that is at 1933. And next one over another two, uh, it's a 2.23. Again, surface quake, 135 meters down, 1940 or 34. And next one over is another one, and that is from uh, 1931. Uh, 2.48 uh, in magnitude, 1.7 kilometers down. And, and the last one in that same area, a 1.52, uh, again, surface quake, 135 meters down. And that is uh, 1939 is the time on that. Now, I find that very interesting. Um, one of the things I do have to point out, we've seen earlier the clouds, a lot of rain in that uh, area so um you know i can understand we're going to see some ice movement and something breaking something moving along um, that is a possibility but when we see you know this uh, this type of number of four, uh, 497 uh, meters down that's uh, fairly deep as far as um uh, the water penetrating uh, even uh, this one 661 meters down and yes, the ice is uh, thick, that thick in some areas, 
uh, the surface quakes I can understand as well with uh, you know 135 meters down or something roughly like that but um, some of the ones that are below uh, one kilometer that's no longer a surface uh, that is below the surface and um, that could be telling us we may have something else happening there anyway uh, moving over a little bit further uh, to the uh, northeast from 1934 we had a magnitude 0.6 of 5.4 kilometers down over here by Grimswatten uh, we have uh, this 1.31 8.1 kilometers down uh, from 836 and then we whoop, uh, zoom in not out and uh, there's Grimswatten and here's these other two a 0.35 5.2 kilometers down from 1047 Next one over is uh, 0.83 in magnitude, 5.5 kilometers down. And that was at um, 5.06 this morning. Now we'll slide up a little bit more and look. Uh, here is only, uh, this is a Bardabung, uh, Bardabungbunga. Bardabunga. There we go. Got it out right. And uh, that is uh, it right there. 8.24 a.m. Magnitude 1.95, uh, 6.3 kilometers down. Welcome, epically epic. Good to have you on board. And of course, up here is Askia, our uh, wonderful one that everybody says is going to erupt. And I'm still having second thoughts. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's done this to us before. Um, this magnitude 5.51, uh, uh, 3.5 kilometers down from uh, 2302 uh, yesterday and uh, then we've got a point eight uh, four kilometers down and uh, that is a 1909 is the time on uh, that guy from today and a point one four point six kilometers down uh, from uh, four uh, forty eight a.m. and uh, I, you know some people may think well, I'm being nasty when I say I'm I'm doubtful uh, or, or on the fence as far as it erupting um it's done this to us before so you know we've seen the magma intrusion uh, yes it has you know what they're estimating as um you know about a 10 cubic uh, kilometers of <laughs> lava underneath it or magma uh, but um it's been we've been down this road before and it did not erupt so uh anyway I'm not trying to be bad guy. I'm hoping it does, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, just north of Herdebreit, we don't have anything to the south at this time, but uh, north of Herdebreit, we do have uh, this uh, from uh, uh, 1528, a 0.4, 8.3 kilometers down. Then we have a 0.6, 15.1 uh, uh, kilometers down. Oh, wow, uh, Piggy, thank you for that. A wonderful uh, super chat. First one of the day, and I really do appreciate that, Piggy and uh, that is a very kind of you and uh, just uh, writing uh, it down uh, thank you very kindly and uh, appreciate the uh, a wonderful uh, super chat um okay uh, that one was uh, from uh, 2022.6 uh, 15 kilometers down 15.1 actually let's grab some of these other ones we got a 1.3 3.9 kilometers down from 1628 then we see a 0 0.76, 10 kilometers down from a 12, a 30. And a fairly big one in here, 2.23 from a 720. And it is at 11.08 a.m. is when that came in. Next one over, we've got a 0 0.36, a 5 kilometers down from 14.46. Let's not forget this 1.64. 8.3 kilometers down, 1407 for him. Uh, this point a uh, six five a uh, three point uh, six uh, kilometers down uh, from eleven at uh, twelve and then uh point eight eight in magnitude four point one kilometers down from a uh, thirteen eighteen and this one a point uh, seven six uh, seven point uh, pardon me two point seven kilometers down from a uh, thirteen at uh, twenty two then a little further north a point four four five point eight kilometers down from a uh, twelve thirty three and we've got a 0 0.6, 4.4 kilometers down from 17 at 23. And from 1535, another 0 0.7 there, 4.4 kilometers down for him. Sliding up a little bit further north and looking for other quakes. A little quieter up north today. 
and um, uh, out in the water we have uh, from uh, 57 minutes after midnight a point a nine eight and uh, that was uh, nine point eight nine kilometers down that's a play in numbers isn't it and uh, right here by the island of Grimsey uh, to the uh, northeast of it we have two and uh, nothing else and uh, that is from uh, 2024 magnitude 1.6 11.1 kilometers down for him and then we have uh, the 1.5 and magnitude 9.6 kilometers down at 2100 that is all for our um, wonderful iceland today as far as um, um, earthquakes are concerned so hey grandma b is here welcome i'm uh, glad to have you on board and uh, we don't see anything further north or south in the area and um, i'm still still wondering what is going to happen here <laughs> you know with Askia, it is uh um you know everybody's saying yeah it's going to erupt it's going to erupt and uh i i'm just like i said i'm on the fence <laughs> i i hope i certainly hope it does it uh, really would be nice to see a nice eruption in there but um i don't know i've seen we've seen this before we've reported this before we've seen the increased activity we talked about the uplift um you know uh, a couple of years ago <laughs> and we've seen the same thing and um, it, it just didn't right and everybody's like ah but um i don't want to be a, a downer so uh, i'm not going to say anything other than that other than i'm going to be on the fence for right now um we'll see what happens and um you know we'll go from there it's just uh, gotta be optimistic <laughs> i guess let's hope it does um to me i think we've got a better chance of cat left popping but uh, who knows hey it's that wonky donkey what uh, please give me back my bricks no you done enough damage and you stole enough tires what are you doing with those tires, by the way? Um, I, every time you take those um, bricks out, you uh, steal tires. I don't want you doing that anymore, wonky donkey. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at other places. And um, we're going to skip over the Azores today. There's no quakes there as of yet. Um, I want to I go uh, here and to... Uh, our wonderful um, stuff happening in uh, in Mexico. Let's see what we got going on in Mexico. I see this heavy plume coming out of um, Popocatépetl, and uh, Popocatépetl is 70 kilometers south of uh, Mexico City, and that is what we've been seeing uh, this morning and uh, uh, during the early afternoon. And I'm kind of wondering, and of course. Uh, we've had some clouds in there too, so they don't make it any easier to tell what's really going on and uh, kind of messed me up a little bit and um, This is from the volcano this little plume uh, This is a cloud um, I don't know. It's a weird looking um, And then when we look at the, this This is a combination thereof. We have plume and cloud and hard to tell where we're at so um, when we go here again we know what's pluming up but is that being caused by the you know just the volcano or is that mostly cloud in there it is really tough to say and um, unfortunately they've got some bad weather there if we uh, look at uh, this shot and uh, we uh, don't whoa what happened out there uh, this a uh, shot let's try that again uh, we do see uh, right here and uh, let's back that up a little bit and see if we can tell um, that is right on the edge of the volcano those clouds are sitting down really low so is it a cloud or is, is it as uh, gases from the volcano um, at this point you can see here that it was a clear gas coming out and uh, fuming. Uh, so what is uh, going on there with uh, Popocatépetl? 
and again here you can see definitely uh, this is earlier this is 9:20 a.m definitely continuing to off gas and i don't know if it's creating its own weather system over atop of it or what it did um this is earlier in the morning 8 40 and uh, when we go back a little bit further we can see 722 it uh, definitely had uh, some more off gassing so it's been pretty steady with what it's been doing all morning long and uh, i've been watching it trying to figure out what the heck is it doing and uh, this of course is from 5 18 a.m and if we go back a little bit further um, we uh, see more pluming coming out of it uh, from 408 you know and it's been pretty much there all the time so uh, thank you for the five minute warning piggy uh, i did get that i just wanted to let you know and of course the um the lava in the crater uh, is uh, lighting up the cloud and that's why it's such a light glow there so um kind of weird things going on there and um i don't know um, we may see something pop here soon out of um, our wonderful uh, popo Cante pedal next one is of course a fuego well, let me go back here and make that smaller there we go uh, Fuego, of course, uh, doing its thing. And uh, just to give you a quick uh, shot of what it was doing during the night. Um, this is another one of those uh, videos that I made. And uh, it uh, didn't look too bad. Um, you know, multiple eruptions. And uh, basically this, I, I tried to keep it limited a little bit. But um, we've seen, I, and it is a time lapse, so this is eight times regular speed. And um, we basically recorded this from midnight to about 2 a.m. And then I threw in a couple bonus eruptions. But during that time, we had about 12 eruptions. So roughly at about six an hour of this thing popping. So every 10 minutes or so, uh, this thing is uh, doing its thing. Made a pair of uh, trousers slash pants out of uh, the tires to protect my uh, butt. <laughs> oh, okay, wonky donkey. I know there had to be an ulterior motive uh, to uh, you stealing those uh, tires. I guess those steel belts are pretty uh, solid and um, they can't stick pins through them. And uh, not that easily. All right, everybody, hand out the screw guns and uh, the uh, uh, pneumatic nailers, and we'll get them uh, one way or another. Uh, oops, did I say that out loud? Uh, hang on, uh, let me turn that microphone off. <laughs> anyway, uh, we uh, did see some of those uh, very um, beautiful eruptions uh, coming out of there. Again, I wish it was in color, but uh, that is uh, what we got from uh, those guys, unfortunately. And uh, we will uh, continue on. Some of those lava bombs were pretty large too, especially right at the end. Uh, you'll see the, uh, the last two captures. Uh, they had some really massive lava bombs. And uh, I thought, oh, you wouldn't want to get hit by one of those. And uh, I, we didn't see anything go far enough over onto the uh, left-hand side there, where, or sorry, the right-hand side where the uh, spectators usually take pictures from, but uh, some of those lava bombs were pretty, pretty wild. Uh, SPC Foundation explains, saying hi, uh, welcome, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the show. Give it a like and all that nice stuff, and uh, that'll be cool. Um, anyway, there's uh, some of the uh, larger ones. Uh, from at the end and you see some of those lava bombs were very very large so um, neat stuff and uh, that should be uh, that should be the last one I think right there and uh, again a lot of material coming out in every single blast and uh, I didn't uh, film the uh, really small ones but uh, the bigger ones is what uh, I uh, basically took a look at so I wanted to share that with you guys and uh, we don't need to go back and look at the other ones during the course of the day and there was all kinds of a uh, cloud in the way and then uh, you know different uh, times of the day we did have a uh, different ones just to give you an example 
and of course uh, the uh, lava bombs that were uh, started the forest fire over here uh, we weren't seeing anything hit over here the closest was about uh, there so not bad anyway a real quick uh, peek at um, Messiah Volcanoes crater uh, that was uh, from earlier of course um, uh, so much smoke in there we can't see the lava and uh, this is refreshed and this is uh, from uh, 1555 don't see anything in there either and uh, that is okay and uh, after we finish with this of course uh, we will uh, come back uh, actually let's uh, do this now uh, real quick so we get this one out of the way as uh, 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 Santiago in Guatemala <laughs> there we go um, I had uh, some more off gassing going on and stuff like that uh, steam uh, laden uh, plumes uh, dominated the uh, uh, the volcano and uh, as uh, visible uh, through uh, the satellite image of course and uh, that is from uh, Copernicus uh, 2 and uh, or Sentinel 2 and uh, that is a uh, pretty awesome and 700 meters above the crater so um, that's of course uh, the a neighbor of Fuego just so we're aware of it anyway we're gonna leave that back on a Popo Kete pedal after we come back I'm gonna go take a break after we come back from the break we will do bacon seeds and then we will do the guessing game as to which volcano I picked as my thumbnail and I know it's a very close-up shot so uh, that is to try to throw you guys off track and I can tell you already uh, Yvonne Kunkel uh, looked at it and uh, she uh, no it's not Vulcano don't guess yet okay no guessing yet um, you guys can hold your guesses uh, for now uh, but I'm gonna tell you Yvonne Kunkel missed it three times so um, that's all I'm gonna say and she's a volcanologist okay so uh, I bet it was a volcano <laughs> uh, SPC foundation explained uh, you are very uh, accurate with that one but um, the name of the volcano is what we're gonna get to anyway I'm gonna throw you back over here and uh, well I'm not gonna throw you there but uh, that is of course the uh, Siggy Fisher uh, back from uh, the 14th of uh, August in uh, 22. Please enjoy and uh, I will be back in about uh, five or six or seven minutes. Don't go away. Hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Also, if you are uh, new and you have not yet subscribed sitting on the outside, please consider subscribing if you feel we've earned it. And you're welcome to uh, join in the chat with the friendly people here and uh, we do have our moderators on board and if you have any questions you can always ask there's some very smart people here in the chat um, a lot of them I know a lot of things so uh, show us the mystery volcano um, well it's the thumbnail I'll uh, show you for a second hang on uh, let's see uh, where did I hide that <laughs> uh, how about uh, there uh, there's your there's your mystery volcano shot. Good luck. <laughs> and uh, I specifically used a close-up shot. So uh, yesterday was way too easy. And uh, Yvonne Kunkel couldn't get this. So uh, I actually told her. And um, we'll uh, see what happens. Anyway, that is what it is. And there's a lot of lava there. <laughs> I'll be back. I don't go away. Thanks.
there we go. The microphone is back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and you're watching Volcano X, a live stream. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you which one's Yvonne the guest, and uh, she was wrong. So, <laughs> that would be a giveaway, uh, sort of, uh, but uh, that would eliminate uh, some, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, her being a volcanologist, uh, she knows her volcanoes very well, and uh, she uh, blew it uh, three times, so, anyway, uh, thanks for the welcome backs from Alba Girl, and uh, Jane, and Kevin, and uh, Sue, and Sasha, and uh, OneFish26, good to see you. And uh, let's see, uh, Juliet says, why not? <laughs> and uh, Sharon Stewart saying, I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000. <laughs> so all <laughs> good. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, why it's, uh, what, it's, isn't important info? Yeah, it's important info. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun. I'm trying to make you guys think a little bit, okay? And uh, it is uh, one of those things. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to be even meaner. Put it that way. Uh, so, uh, Brutal Avenger is here. Good to have you back on board. And uh, nice to see you. And uh, thanks for uh, stopping in. I really appreciate that. And uh, One Fish is saying, uh, Dr. Fox is uh, my inspiration for uh, live streaming uh, uh, my uh, own uh, camera. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you got uh, that camera going, and uh, uh, one fish. It's uh, it's always nice to um, start out somewhere with uh, something, and it is kind of a joy to do that. So, uh, pretty cool, pretty awesome. Anyway, I did promise bacon seeds. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, take a look at our wonderful uh, bacon seeds. I'm gonna pause uh, that uh, lava video though. And uh, oh, I like being uh, having the power to stomp a volcano right in mid uh, eruption. <laughs> there we go, bacon seed time. And of course, this is the uh, last one from uh, yesterday. And of course, our wonderful uh, piggy sent us uh, some more bacon seeds. And uh, of course, that is uh, a piggy uh, sending this uh, morning, of course, at uh, uh, doing her thing. So uh, Cynthia, I didn't say hi to you, but welcome. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's get to our first bacon seed. And uh, that is uh, this wonderful uh, fella with a friend in the background. I think we might have seen him before, but I'm not 100% sure. Hey, Connie Tyree also here. Welcome. And uh, let's uh, get to our next bacon seed. That is uh, this guy. And um, in the grass, just peeking out. And a nice a smile on his face. Love it. And so that is a pretty awesome. Mona Alfano. I didn't say hi to you either. And welcome. And Gaines. Uh, good to have you guys on board. Or gals. And uh, let's uh, go to the next uh, bacon seed. That is uh, this little skinny guy. He needs to eat more. Definitely. He's uh, too skinny. I can see ribs. And uh, that won't make very good bacon. Uh, Oops, I didn't mean that. Uh, skinny dude, yeah. Uh, feed that one. We definitely need to feed him more. He he might be running around too much, too. You know, some of them, they get pretty lanky when they uh, get a lot of exercise and run foot loose and fancy free. Uh, pork ribs, yeah. Man, we need a little bit more meat on there. And uh, here's one that's getting fed. And this one, of course, is uh, a still a very, very a tiny little bacon seed, a wrinkle skin and everything. Uh, he's got to grow, and uh, he at least he's getting fed, so uh, that is awesome. And uh, very little uh, little guy there, so uh, really cute. But uh, yep, uh, being uh, taken care of, and uh, they're trying to uh, get him to be a, a thicker a uh, pig. And uh, there we go. Uh, this is, of course, uh, just about a newborn. So um, nice to see that uh, he's uh, getting uh, some some well-deserved food to grow. And uh, wrinkles. Yep, I think that's uh, almost what we could nickname him. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, carry on to our next bacon seed. And that is uh, this guy. He looks skinny too, but he is getting fed. 
and uh, they are feeding him well he's not that skinny uh, mind you there are there is a breed that doesn't have that much on um, on there hey one fish uh, 26 and just gifted a five membership uh, pack on one fish that is awesome one a fish uh, 26 and gifted a five a pack for those who are uh, in here if you haven't yet uh, turned on scroll up to that banner and turn on the button that says accept gift that way uh, you too could end up uh, getting uh, a gifted a one month uh, free membership for uh, the channel and uh, thank you very kindly uh, for uh, doing that uh, one fish 26 that was uh, very awesome of you so yeah like i say scroll up to the banner click on the banner and uh, then uh, turn on the uh, little uh, thing that says accept gift and uh, you could uh, be uh, you could be the lucky recipient uh, recipient of uh, getting uh, one of those uh, free uh, gifts there so um, can't guarantee it it's YouTube that handles it and not us so uh, yep yeah, touch the banner open it up and uh, turn accept a gift on and uh, that'll uh, that'll make that happen anyway let's get to our next bacon seed and uh, that is uh, this guy and uh, that's another little guy and uh, it's one of those posh piggies and uh, very uh, cool uh, gotta love that and uh, I guess he's uh, trying to keep him up there and uh, wants to uh, back away from the camera not sure that purple fur that he's uh, standing on <laughs> so all uh, cute yep uh, the uh, cowboy hat in the background uh, really uh, kind of fitting and uh, let's get to our next one yeah uh, he's a fuzzy little fella here's a more fuzz and uh, they're uh, keeping uh, the uh, chin up for this one um, wants to eat the tinsel I think <laughs> and uh, that is a nice looking uh, pig and uh, let's uh, go for one more uh, bacon seed and the last one of the day and uh, we uh, do have uh, this one and uh, he too is a pretty a uh, nice looking and uh, he's kind of a chocolatey color but he is definitely a smiley bacon seed and uh, got a nice uh, nice look on his face I like that so uh, very very uh, good a uh, skill uh, or hand for scale yep a uh, Sharon Stewart that definitely tells you how small they are and um, yeah I like this guy when I seen that picture, I, I thought, yeah, I'm definitely I gotta have it. And this wasn't one that Piggy sent, but uh, still, it's it's all right. I um I do add a few here and now and again and stuff like that. So, uh, Piggy usually sends about six uh, bacon seeds, and uh, today we show what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah and you know we we throw a couple extras in there just to uh, uh be in the good graces and uh, uh, make sure everybody has enjoyment of watching them all right now it is time to uh, go see our wonderful uh shot of the day and uh, now i'm gonna forewarn you and uh, be careful of what you guess because you're only allowed one guess okay and we have to put that down because that way uh, you won't go rattling off 20 different volcanoes real quick and uh, you got to be very very careful so think this through uh, please and i've given you some hints i know they're very very vague hints <laughs> <laughs> and I did that on purpose um, and uh, yesterday's was uh, way too easy for uh, you guys and to guess the uh, the first one that I showed so this one I'm um, I've made it a little tricky and uh, I've actually cropped the shot okay and just to let you know uh, you missed the hints uh, Brutal Avenger, I said uh, this one is uh, active, uh, has been active within the last um, 50 years. It is on planet Earth. <laughs> uh, 
what was the other hint I gave? Uh, click on the green banner at the top of the screen. Yep, you can click on that green banner at the top uh, to uh, um, be able to click uh, the... Uh, oh, that green banner just disappeared. Darn it. Oh, Brutal Avenger guys, I was gifted. Uh, so uh, there's uh, two of them gone. Uh, there's still a few more. Uh, more than uh, 600, uh, Serotonin says. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, let's get over there and let you look at that. And um, uh, I... Uh, now, just remember, there's, there's, um, uh, it, it, this is a close-up shot. This is lava coming out. Uh, Doctor Fox, uh, it is a, uh, it is not a volcano. I, uh, I think it is. Uh, yeah, it is a volcano. It is a volcano. Uh, and, and no, it's not Leo's uh, souffle. <laughs> Uh, nope, not Cumbre Vieja. So that eliminates uh, uh, the uh, La Palma eruption. It's not Cumbre Vieja. Sherry Hewitt says it is Etna. And uh, uh, Sherry Hewitt, and that is a nice guess. And you're right. It is Mount Etna. And uh, it is a very, very close-up shot. And um, it's the sun. <laughs> it's just about as hot as the sun. But uh, no, uh, Sherry Hewitt got it. So, um, no, it's not cool, Sherry. It's hot. It's really, really hot. You don't want to touch that. <laughs> and uh, there you go. And uh, that was a too easy of a guess again. Uh, Sherry, uh, you get the uh, cookie for uh, guessing, and um, and I am going to show you guys where that actually came from, uh, where that shot is. Uh, one of my guesses, yeah, and uh, you know we gotta we gotta do this. Uh, I tried to make this a little harder by uh, zooming in and uh, keeping that, but I'm going to be fair and actually show you guys where this came from. And uh, because uh, no, it was not in any um, shot that you would have found on Google. Okay, and um, I want to say a big uh, thank you to our wonderful friend uh, Michael, and uh, I'm sure you guys know who I'm referring to. Uh, Michael uh, supplied. Well, um, this is uh, Mount Etna from uh, 2019 is uh, when it's uh, from and uh, I will uh, put it on the screen now and I'll let you uh, watch this and um, this of course is from Active Nature and uh, I'm going to keep my mouth shut and let you listen to the volcano And Sasha, it was from 2019, just so you know, it's not active right now.
Hi, Yona, we see you. Welcome. Anyway, it's just about over, so I'm going to just kind of speak up here a little bit. Um, I did want you guys to hear those uh, explosive eruptions there and the gas bubbles uh, bursting. I thought that was uh, pretty awesome. And uh, for those who have not yet subscribed to Active Nature, please, I've got the link uh, pinned up in the top of the chat. Uh, go over and subscribe to them. And uh, this is the kind of uh, stuff, of course, that he's got on his channel. Uh, he has made it over that 1,000 mark. So uh, he's hit the 1K. Uh, but uh, it is always awesome to have your channel growing. And uh, we really hope um, that uh, we can help him out with a few more today. Uh, so if you have not yet subscribed to Active Nature, please do consider doing so. And uh, um, Michael is out of uh, Italy, and of course he goes over to uh, Sicily often, and uh, that is uh, pretty cool. So, uh, Mariano, uh, welcome, and uh, glad to have you on board. Anyway, um, that is uh, what we've got there, and I figured I'd share that with you guys. So, um, yeah, he uh, does have some awesome videos. Uh, unfortunately, Edna is not visible today, and this is uh, kind of what we were uh, seeing uh, today for weather over there, so um, we can't really um, make any more of that. More of the same, Doc. Yep, uh, there is uh, more of the same on there, uh, John Raper, and uh, definitely it is uh, worthy and uh, worthwhile having a look at Active Nature's uh, stuff that he's got on his channel. And, uh, you know, he doesn't have a lot of videos yet, but uh, he likes going up there to uh, Mount Etna when he can. And um, that is uh, one of those things. So uh, hoping Etna will get active again. And uh, he's got some a great, great video. And uh, really uh, do uh, appreciate it. So all good. Uh, donkey, uh, that's rabbit season. Uh, no, 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 it's not rabbit season. Uh, uh, what? It's when the deer hunt uh, the, the humans. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's human season. Uh, isn't that the way it works? Uh, see, Henry, you got to understand uh, donkeys and rabbits are kind of related. You take a look at those ears. It's a dead giveaway. And so, um, donkey season, etc. <laughs> careful, uh, careful. Uh, it's a duck season. Anyway, um, that is what we've got going on. And of course, if we uh, go over to the other uh, shot here, loading up the um, chart for uh, Etna, and you can see it's it's basically a flat line. It's uh, really not doing a heck of a lot. And uh, matter of fact we're down below um, below average as to uh, activity 
and uh, you can see that there's our, our line uh, that's where we consider things to happen and um, it really is quiet at, at now uh, right now so uh, that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what's uh, going on anyway let's uh, get over to uh, yeah duck season it's always duck season isn't it let's get over to our oh hang on I'm already uh, already over time for a break and um, that took too long darn it <laughs> let's uh, let's get on with a break and um, I want to uh, fix uh, things up here uh, before we get uh, to that but uh, for those who have not yet subscribed to active Na nature I did pin that link up on the top please do go and um, subscribe if you haven't done that and um, you know you can watch some of those uh, wonderful uh, uh, videos uh, that he has there and of course uh, we do have permission to uh, show them here so uh, that is always uh, nice to uh, be able to do that and uh, I'm I'm happy that I was able to help out with uh, him getting over that 1000 mark of course when you know you start pushing a little bit um, it really does make a big difference uh, when uh, I first got on uh, to his channel he had uh, 200 and some subscribers 243 and uh, uh, many many of those subscribers that came to his uh, channel were because of us here so I know a whole bunch of us are already uh, subscribed to them and um, it is uh, what it is so Anyway, I'm going to go take that break, you guys. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my uh, throat. Um, when we get back from the break, we will take a look at uh, this wonderful lenticular cloud that is uh, built up on the top of uh, uh, Murrapi, which is in uh, central Java, Indonesia. Uh, so uh, don't go away. Let's uh, get you back to uh, this one, and uh, we'll uh, let you watch the... Uh, Siggy Fisher in Iceland, and um, that is uh, canned lava from uh, the 14th of uh, August uh, last year. And uh, there you go, I'm gonna be back. I'll throw some music on and uh, keep smiling, and uh, see you shortly.
and there we go the microphone is back on and I see a few people left and that's okay and that is Adele and uh, Sherry Hewitt going to uh, get some uh, sleep as well and uh, thank you for the uh, welcome back from uh, John and Alba girl and Kevin and uh, Sue and uh, Jane and uh, Sasha and Hermian and Fluffy <laughs> and uh, Hermian how is your eye doing I hope it's better and I'm sure Sharon Stewart will be saying, I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000, in a second. Um, if she didn't already uh, put that on. Uh, Cynthia says, we missed you, Dr. Fox. Oh, gee, you make me feel bad. And there's uh, Sharon Stewart. I knew I could hear her. It's uh, just that little bit of a delay. Uh, thumbs up on the eyeball. Okay, perfect. Uh, that is all uh, good, important to know. Anyway, uh, for uh, TikTok Doc, uh, yep, yeah, uh, right on time. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, for those people who have not yet subscribed to Active Nature, I do have his link up in the top there, and uh, you guys are welcome to uh, do that. Now, uh, since uh, you guys were so keen and inept and, and able to uh, guess that so quickly today, I am going to make it really tough tomorrow. It will be another close-up shot. Uh, but um, I'm not going to give you any hints. None at all uh, for tomorrow. And uh, the rabbit ran up the, up the dock. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Billy Bob Joe. Um, that's a bad pun there. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, tomorrow's, I, I have tomorrow's figured out. And I know what I'm going to do with it. And uh, I won't alter the uh, photo in any way, shape, or form. And uh, it will be a good uh, good evening, all. Good to see you. And uh, excellent Storm Chaser 2011, or sorry, 1211. Uh, there we go. Uh, welcome, and uh, glad to have you on board. Anyway, yeah, it's going to be interesting uh, tomorrow. Uh, we'll uh, see what we can do with that uh, for uh, those people who are going to try to guess. And uh, anyway, we do have uh, Merapi on here. Uh, but uh, before we get to uh, Merapi, I want to go through our wonderful list of active uh, volcanoes or our, our volcano reports. And uh, we'll get to uh, those in a second here. And uh, let's see, uh, we'll uh, start out with a list, a long list for each day. Eight volcanoes from yesterday uh, that uh, after our uh, stream yesterday or uh, during our stream, uh, we'll uh, go through them and uh, hopefully uh, this will help everyone out with uh, knowing what's active and what's not. Anyway, we'll start out with uh, yesterday's stuff that we've uh, missed, and uh, that was uh, San Gay in Ecuador. Occasional emissions uh, to 19,000 feet, or 5,800 meters, reported at uh, 1645. And then we've got a uh, Karangatang, and that's on Api Siao, Siao, Siao Island, whatever it is, North Indonesia and uh, reported to as uh, 1757 and it says on uh, the first one uh, there is another email for a sunday's activity okay yeah i did get them both and i did load them both as uh, sue thank you uh seven kaya in peru uh, unable to uh, detect reported at 1800 and uh, de cono in uh, that's a uh, Halmar Har what Halmar Hura Halmar Hura Indonesia if I said that right uh, continuous uh, volcanic ash yeah, uh, to uh, 7,000 feet or 2,100 meters uh, reported at 1800 yesterday Suba no Sijima in Japan exploded to 6,000 feet or 1,800 meters at uh, 2100 and then we have a uh, popo cate pedal central uh, mexico uh says uh volcanic ash emissions at uh, 2 20000 feet and uh, or 6100 uh, meters are uh, reported at 2100 and uh, these are all still from yesterday fuego guatemala ongoing volcanic eruptions 
15,000 feet, six, uh, 4,600 meters. I reported at 2,200. And uh, Semeru, East Java, uh, Indonesia, volcanic ash uh, obs uh, observed at two, 13,000 feet uh, or uh, 4,000 meters at uh, 2,200. And then uh, this morning's activity, and the list is long, uh, 13 of them, and I'm going to try to um, keep it uh, short. So, uh, Sabankaya uh, says unable to report at uh, midnight, and then sporadic emissions uh, observed uh, to uh, 22,000 feet or 6,700 meters at uh, 12 noon. Uh, Dakono uh, in Indonesia continues volcanic emissions to 7,000 feet or 2,100 uh, meters uh, from uh, at uh, uh, midnight as well as at 11:45 a.m. Uh, Shivalish on the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula volcanic ash observed to 12,000 feet or uh, 6,700 uh, meters uh, reported at uh, 1:45 and uh, separate uh, report email yep at uh, 4:20 a.m. We'll uh, take a look at that as well. And then uh, Sakurajima observed um, uh, volcanic ash observed to uh, 6,000 feet or 1,800 uh, meters at uh, 2 a.m. And then uh, Reventador over in uh, uh, Ecuador, uh, that is uh, 15,000 feet or volcanic ash emissions to 15,000 feet, uh, 4,600 meters reported at 2 a.m. And then 17,000 feet or 5,200 meters are reported at um, 13.30 or 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, Satiaguito in Guatemala. Uh, we already covered that at 3.58 a.m. Uh, San Gay in Ecuador had a double whammy here, um, uh, constant uh, light emissions. 12, uh, sorry, uh, two, uh, 20,000 feet, 6,100 meters at uh, 4, uh, 15 in the morning, and then the same thing again at uh, 10, 15. Uh, so uh, continuing to erupt. Uh, Fuego, uh, frequent uh, volcanic emissions to uh, 17,000 feet, and we already uh, know that. Uh, from uh, 5,200 meters, uh, 930 is when that was uh, reported. Uh, currency on Sumatra in Indonesia, uh, ground uh, uh, yeah reported a volcanic uh, uh, ground report of a volcanic or ground report of eruption with volcanic ash to uh, thirteen thousand feet. Uh, it's a twist in words every time uh, something is a little different. <laughs> anyway, four thousand uh, meters is uh, what it was, and it's uh, ten a.m. Suwanosi Jima, another eruption from there to uh, 6,000 feet or 1,800 uh, meters and uh, observed uh, volcanic ash reported at uh, 1,345. Cotopaxi, volcanic ash emissions uh, to uh, 25,000 feet or 7,600 meters. That's getting up there. Uh, 1,345 as well. Uh, Popocate Petal, uh, volcanic ash emissions observed to 19,000 feet or 5,800 meters at 14.30 and then a Karangatang again in uh, in North Indonesia uh, reported at uh, 16.04 uh, uh, and that's the second email we'll uh, take a look at those once we get to them and uh, that is all good let's uh, continue on with uh, what we are seeing what a weird cloud pattern we've got on the screen right now that is absolutely weird. The mothership must be coming in, and um, that is is freaky. <laughs> um, hey, and it's uh, it's LOL Gemma Super Kitty too. Um, that is a Dave and Claire welcome, and uh, yeah, that is a pretty uh, weird looking um, cloud formation up there. It's got to be the mothership coming in. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have no idea. That is a pretty neat looking. I like that, the way everything is uh, sitting up there. And um, that's like that lenticular cloud that was sitting on top moved up there. And uh, we've got heat layers in between. So a really, really a neat stuff. 
Anyway, let's ruin that and we will go back in time and uh, start uh, checking for lava. And uh, we uh, do see some dribbles here. And uh, this is at uh, 4 18 a.m. Let's see if we can uh, find when that actually came out. Um, if we can uh, find it. Oh, I think I might have. Uh, right around here somewhere. And uh, let's see if we can uh, find that. For there, I see something in there. And there it is. Uh, 4.02.30. Uh, and. Uh, we uh, see that so that may be uh, coming down the hill and um, that might have been um, a little early for that one uh, somewhere else in there yeah here's another one this might have been uh, this one there we can see it 416 that would make more sense and you can see it lit up up in the top and definitely see uh, some lava flowing out and uh, that is a uh, pretty cool uh, we uh, like that so uh, awesome but uh, we don't want to hang around here uh, too long otherwise uh, this uh, stream is going to go uh, five hours again like it did yesterday and I want to avoid that so I'm going to expedite the process here and uh, we will uh, take a look at uh, just uh, some relatively uh, good shots and uh, here's a one I'm going to back that up a little bit and um, I know it's always fun when we can see them and um, that is actually a pretty awesome there let's see if we can get to the uh, start of that eruption and um, that was uh, somewhere around here 259 is what I had on my original uh, paper and uh, if we uh, go back just a little bit more yeah 259 is when uh, the glow started and there you can see it and uh, that actually came down on this side of the uh, mountain this time so uh, pretty cool pretty awesome to see that and um, if we uh, let it run you can see um, it is uh, pretty good um, yeah bacon and unfortunately it's not in color but um, that is what it is especially when they've got um, you know not the greatest of um, uh, conditions there for uh, the sky so um pretty cool though to be able to see that uh, bacon coming down the side of the hill and uh, roughly 3 a.m for them and uh, that was a fair amount of lava compared to the other uh, shots now um there's some neat videos there if you guys haven't um, seen some of them but there's uh, some uh, really cool videos of uh, a guy flying a drone right up that um canyon that it has created and I say a canyon because it is a very deep uh, going up the side of that mountain it's um, like it's been really sliced open so um, and it looks pretty awesome as he's uh, flying up there with this drone and uh, worthy of uh, having a look at so um, do consider uh, that and let's uh, back that up a little bit more we'll see if we can uh, see anything more that was really good uh, most of it was in cloud uh, so i don't know if we're going to see anything other than uh, this this was probably the uh, best uh, bit of lava that we had out of there the other stuff was a uh, pretty small little dribbles if anything so yeah and again we're battling clouds it is the rainy season there in indonesia and um, hard to tell if uh, there's anything going on like as an example here when we uh, take a look at the um, the cloud pattern you know it's it's horrible to look at you kind of go well how do we see anything underneath there but uh, that is mother nature for you so um not much you can do about it anyway we'll uh, leave uh, Merapi. <coughs> and um, again that's a pretty awesome uh, a cloud pattern I'm actually going to uh, just take a screenshot of that uh, because I like it and uh, we will uh, get uh, over to our next volcano and that of course is uh, over on a different place and that is uh, there in our wonderful New Zealand and it is at 12 noon we may not be able to see it because I didn't check oh yeah we did uh, see it uh, earlier there it is and uh, that is Mount Ruapehu and uh, let's see if we can make that a little uh, bigger there we go 
better pitcher. And uh, yeah, that is a Mount Uh Screenshot uh, this. I uh, hope it's uh, okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, you can uh, screenshot it. It doesn't matter to me. Um, some of those uh, things are pretty cool to see sometimes. And, uh, uh, you know, good for comparing and stuff. Uh, we made a Volcano Rocks, uh, the clock, and uh, what? Had uh, socks, and the doc said, Hickory, a uh, dickory, a uh, doc. Uh, there's uh, my uh, socks on the clock. His name is Ben. Okay. He's uh, big in the pen if a piggy lets him out again. Yeah. Hmm. All right. It's time. <laughs> oh, it's time. Let's uh, take a look at uh, the uh, next shot here. Of course, uh, that is uh, the uh, chart for a uh, town pool. A uh, quick uh, peek. Uh, it's been awful quiet. Uh, almost hit the floor and uh, very, very quiet stuff. It is time for Pepsi. And uh, we will uh, finish off with uh, this uh, scene or screen. And uh, there is your uh, wonderful uh, shot of uh, the uh, uh, caldera for Taupo. That is the lake, the entirety of the lake. You can't see uh, Ruapehu in the background today. Way too cloudy. You do see the uh, parasailer on the end of uh, that and the boat over here that's dragging them along. And uh, there you can see it. And uh, that boat is uh, pulling him. So um, that's what's going on. Anyway, uh, this uh, shot, of course, a courtesy of the uh, Suncord Hotel and Conference Center there in uh, Taupo. And uh, on, on that friendly note, let's get you back over to uh, some uh, lava from the Siggy Fisher. No flea market today. No, they packed up uh, Alba Girl, unfortunately. Uh, serotonin out of here. Take care. Uh, bye. And uh, it is time for me to take a break. And uh, for those good people who are here, if you have not yet hit that like button, please do consider doing that. And uh, also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing if you're sitting in the Lurker's Lounge uh, peeking in. And uh, on that friendly note, I also want to add, you should not be seeing any ads in this, as this is not a monetized uh, live stream. And just so you guys are aware of that. And uh, if you do, please report the ads to me because they're not supposed to. And uh, also, having said that, uh, any uh, support is always welcome. And on that friendly note, I will be back in uh, five or six or seven minutes. Don't go away. Here comes some music and away we go. Don't go away. More to come.
I've got my microphone back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. Glad to have you all on board. And uh, what's that? Uh, you bring um, uh, the party to volcanoes. Sasha. Oh, I bring? No. The wonky donkey brings the party to the volcanoes. Now he brings the submarine to the volcanoes. Sometimes. <laughs> or the super tanker. One of the two. Um, speaking of the super tanker, where did you park that there, Mr. Wonky Donkey? And uh, thank you for the uh, welcome backs. And uh, we missed you, Dr. Fox 2000 from Cynthia. And uh, thanks, uh, Jane and uh, Sasha and Sue. Uh, Juliet says, I appreciate uh, you very much, Donkey. Also, uh, don't uh, quit your day job. Yeah. Uh, and the lava truck. Uh, no, Henry, it's a whole fleet of lava trucks. Um, I have no idea where uh, they've gone. Um, I thought uh, they were uh, poised out there in uh, our uh, wonderful Iceland, but um, apparently something's not happening. And he keeps leaving Iceland. Uh, he's cruising around in the submarine. Uh, what? Uh, I blow up the submarine. What? You bl blown up? the submarine how did you blow up the submarine oh no uh, how did you manage to blow up the submarine uh, I'm gonna have to get a replacement sub then oh boy this is not good wonky donkey I given you the keys for the sub and then you go blow it up I got too hot uh, why did it get too hot <laughs> I'm just curious. Uh, cooking carrot soup again? No? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> or did you put lava in there? You weren't supposed to put lava. That goes in the super tanker. Not the... Uh, oh boy. Uh, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Uh, this is going to be horrible. It's bad enough you've been stealing tires. <laughs> He uh, swam uh, into uh, the lava river. Uh, too many pins in that stern. <laughs> yeah. The lava tanker are uh, impounded, Dr. Fox. Uh, he still hasn't uh, paid uh, uh, for the new tags. <laughs> uh, lava in the sub. How did you get lava in the sub? And you, I told you it's uh, for water, not for lava. <laughs> What a guy. What a guy. Anyway, let's go to Japan and uh, see what we've got there. i got to stop this volcano from erupting. There we go. Uh, using my uh, powers. And uh, now we'll get over there. Uh, okay. I had a mirror in it and uh, I looked in uh, What? <laughs> looked into it. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, that would have um, that would have wrecked things. Let's uh, go to... Uh, <laughs> Sakurajima there's Sakurajima and uh, that is at Japan and of course uh, we see all kinds of birds flying around there and kind of weird things looks like our wonderful Sakurajima is not uh, off gassing as much as it was yesterday by any means it's uh, uh, being a lot more uh, sedate and quiet uh, which is uh, probably a good thing and uh, the SO2 that was coming out of there was pretty heavy duty yesterday. Uh, this was at 7 a.m. Uh, looks like the uh, primary vent is actually the uh, vent number three that hadn't been active for a long time, although it is active now. And um, it's interesting to uh, see that. Let's uh, go back a little further in time. And uh, yeah, looks like it's uh, just uh, slowly uh, simmering. And I was trying to see if there was any uh, glow in the crater. I, I didn't notice any uh, during the night. Uh, like at 3 o'clock in the morning, definitely nothing there. And uh, 2, nothing. And then we go back a little bit further, just about 1-ish. And I don't know if that was a little bit of light uh, coming from uh, the uh, city there, uh, lighting up uh, some of that off-gassing. But... Um, at least it wasn't uh, off-gassing as heavy as uh, what it used to. Uh, this light here is causing that 
light there. So that's not lava. Okay, just so you're aware of that. And um, yeah, that's about it. So fairly quiet there. It is still off gassing a fair amount. And uh, that is uh, what we've got. Self praise is uh, not worthy. Oh, uh, yeah, that wonky donkey hot stuff, huh? Yeah, <laughs> uh, you make me chuckle. Anyway, is our ice cream boat there? Not yet. It's coming, though. We see it. It's uh, right there. Just about. I was hoping. And uh, it's on the way in. So uh, by the time you get down to the dock, you can get some of uh, that wonderful ice cream. Remember, remember it's uh, down that road. Down there, you can see the uh, cars there. And at the lights, make sure you hang a left. And uh, you can get down to the dock before the boat gets there. So uh, that'll be cool. And uh, you can be ready and waiting. They'll be uh, setting up uh, shortly uh, after they dock. Let's have a look at the uh, close-up of the wonderful crater. Nice view today. Nice and clear. And uh, as we can see, this is that uh, third vent. It is definitely producing more gas than the other uh, two combined here by the looks of things right now. And uh, that is uh, pretty awesome. So uh, that is uh, what we have for our Sakurajima today. And um, a pretty, uh, pretty nice uh, view there of um, the crater. So that thing looks pretty awesome. Pretty sharp stuff. And uh, let's go over to the next one. A picture not quite so pretty, but uh, we do see it uh, smoking. And uh, that is Suwanosi Jima down on its own little island down there in uh, southern uh, portions of uh, the Japanese islands. And uh, it was uh, smoking and puffing and doing its thing again. As we mentioned in the report, it was uh, doing uh, what it was doing. Hey, did I miss? I miss out uh, on a couple of uh, things. I think I uh, skipped over uh, Semeru. Uh, we'll uh, take a look at Semeru after this. And uh, we'll uh, get our Karangatang reports in there. I was thinking about that, going, well, didn't, didn't we have some orangutans or Karangatangs? <laughs> uh, got sidetracked. It's that uh, darn uh, squirrel thing. No, it wasn't the squirrel. It was Wonky Donkey. Um, anyway, going back, here's a, a pretty nasty plume from uh, a 1 a 56 a.m. Uh, speaking of uh, the squirrel, uh, the uh, cookie I had put out there for him, he uh, came and got uh, all of the uh, three parts to it, and I put another cookie out, so yeah, he should be happy. He'll be back. He was sitting over in the other tree eating uh, eating um, buds off of the tree there, and uh, I showed him the cookie, and uh, it wasn't... Uh, wasn't two minutes later he was in uh, on the balcony eating the cookie so pretty cool uh, here's another blast coming out of it from um, this is at uh, about 10 p.m. of their time and you can definitely see it it's um, coming out of the uh, looks like the uh, front caldera here it has uh, two segments to it so always nice to see that Unfortunately, we didn't see any open lava or anything like that, and that's uh, a rarity for us, for this guy. But uh, at least we get to see it. And uh, jumping over here, uh, this one, of course, is our wonderful Aso-san. Aso, uh, being a little further north, a couple hundred uh, uh, kilometers or uh, 150 kilometers north of uh, uh, Sakurajima on the island of uh, main island of japan and uh, that is um, steaming mad and it's uh, doing its thing so it too has been uh, producing uh, a bunch of uh, so2 as of late and um, still wondering if we're going to see that guy erupt and of course uh, you know when um, the steam is uh, caused by the uh, heat in the uh, floor of the caldera and there's uh, basically a lake in it and um, I'm waiting for a decent earthquake or a big crack to occur and uh, then we'll see some uh, a wonderful uh,
pre-magmatic uh, explosions uh, and kind of like mini hunga tunga hunga ha, ha pies <laughs> but in smaller scale uh thor good evening or good morning and uh, good to have you on board and uh all um all wonderful yeah the karangatang uh, we'll uh, take a look at the uh, karangatang uh, next so uh, that is what we're seeing there at uh Asosan. and uh, that is a pretty uh, cool and uh, let me uh, see if I can uh, find my uh, Karangatang stuff. Um, no, I was too engrossed by those uh, Merapi clouds. Um, yeah, there we got. Uh, uh, we're on. We're on to it. Let's see if I can make that a bigger. And uh, we'll uh, go over there. And uh, let's see. Um, yeah, they're not showing uh, the uh, volcano much because um, not uh, too much activity there for them uh, right now. Let me um, do some uh, maintenance here while we're doing this and uh, reduce the uh, size of these other ones. Otherwise, uh, things get a little uh, too hot and heavy for uh, the uh, computer. So let's uh, reduce those a little bit and uh, make it easier so we don't get any uh, computer stalling and um, yeah let's uh, get on back onto that one there we go if we uh, go back in time a little bit um, they didn't really have any decent close-ups on uh, uh, Semaru unfortunately and uh, even if we uh, go back uh, during the night uh, this is about 11 p.m. at their time. It too had a lenticular cloud built up on top of it, but really nothing super as far as I was concerned. So let's uh, take a look at the uh, reports uh, from uh, Karangatan. I do have to uh, re-grab that screen here. Just give me a second and uh, we'll um, do that real quick. And uh, we'll be able to read the entire page that way and uh, there that should work and let's uh, stick that up in the top corner and then I can uh, stretch it out a bit there we go and uh, click on the other uh, magic buttons here to make it uh, fill the page all right uh, so Karangatan this is the uh, first one uh, this is of course uh, what uh, we kind of looked at almost similar to what was the ongoing uh, activity anyway that was uh, from the uh, 25th their time which is uh, the 24th on ours so we did see that uh, wonderful shot or something similar um, because this was over here before and uh, they moved it over because of uh, this extra lava coming out so um, Pretty much uh, cool. It says uh, active, uh, glowing, a new uh, lava dome uh, field report, and uh, I'm not sure exactly where it is. If it's uh, down here uh, that they're referring to, uh, but we do see a new lava right in this area, and uh, that is uh, pretty awesome. And of course, the other vent definitely uh, doing its thing. So what's it say here? So uh, the effusive phase of uh, intense activity continues. Uh, visual observation from our uh, expedition leader and volcanologist Andy uh, Volcanist uh, confirmed the ongoing uh, new lava dome growing within the crater one. And so up here in uh, crater one is uh, where it is. And uh, that's uh, during a golden hour yesterday uh, represented uh, as uh, perfect lighting to capture a stunning a picture uh, see attached image of course that's what we're looking at and um, usually uh, the uh, last hour before a dusk and uh, viscous magma uh, continues to ooze out into the uh, dome piling up uh, up there and resulting in unstable hot uh, lava material uh, suspectable, uh, suspectable uh, to collapse uh, onto uh, the um, or into a hot rock falls yeah so we get that and we're gonna see avalanches coming down to this thing 
uh, rose by about uh, 50 by 50 meters uh, above uh, the crater so yeah that's a pretty uh, pretty cool to uh, see and um, that is a pretty awesome uh, that shot of course a very nice looking uh, picture and uh, some of the other uh, shots and uh, this is uh, during a daytime shot it gives you a better idea of what it's uh, been looking like and uh, pretty awesome to see and uh, then we uh, see where is this one oh this isn't the same one uh, this is uh tanger 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 a volcano hmm interesting Yep, a beauty, and uh, here's the one, I kind of like that shot, looks uh, nice. Um, Kegel, I don't know which uh, one that actually is, but uh, that looks uh, cool. Uh, through the uh, old wood there, and that's uh, pretty awesome. And um, sunsets there, that's uh, pretty nice, getting back to our picture. So uh, that is the first report. Then uh, we have uh, the uh, second report is uh, this one. And uh, Karangatan, of course, uh, hot avalanches uh, start uh, to form. And you can see what they were talking about in that first report with the uh, buildup up top. And uh, now it's uh, gotten down to uh, coming down the hill. And uh, that is a uh, pretty awesome volcano to uh what um the volcano started to uh, generate a uh, pyroclastic flows on its uh, southeast side uh these are turbulent uh, avalanches of hot lava mixed with uh, hot gases and air likely caused uh, from uh, their formation uh, that was uh okay that was uh, some of the uh, fresh a lava and placed uh, on the uh, steep uh, slopes uh, beneath the uh, southern uh, summit uh, crater uh, because unstable yeah or became unstable and uh, collapsed so basically yeah that's what we were seeing uh, since the large uh, magnitude 6.8 uh, uh, quake on Friday morning local time uh, deep under the uh, Maluka Sea uh, many a uh, similar Smaller ones have uh, rattled uh, the area. Okay, so that uh, earthquake may have uh, been a uh, catalyst to uh, get this um, flowing here. So uh, that is pretty cool. Um, neat information. And uh, I'm not sure. Uh, there, that looks better. Uh, some hornitos. Uh, doesn't say where that's actually from, though. Uh and uh, some uh, nice pictures back to that okay uh, so that is our um uh, semeru and um indonesian report there for karangatang and um, all are uh, good and uh, we'll uh, leave it uh, back here and uh, put uh, that back on uh, the uh, bigger picture and uh two minutes until uh till i need my pepsi again i'm feeling it in my throat already uh, we do have two minutes, so let's go over and uh, take a look at uh, Yellowstone real quick. Look at that. It's uh, snowing there in Jellystone. Yellowstone National Park, of course, is uh, in uh, Wyoming and uh, parts in uh, Montana and Idaho as well. And, of course, uh, Yellowstone National Park is uh, active uh, with over 500 uh, geysers and um, you can see some of them are pluming there at uh, various locations and uh, they don't all pop at the same time but it's always nice and of course you can see uh, they are getting a uh, snow there right now so that's what's happening for uh, Yellowstone or Jellystone if you want to type that in and all uh, either or works and uh, all cool so on that friendly note, I am going to go take another break. For those good people who are here, if you have not yet hit that like button, would really be awesome if you could. I see we are only at 90 likes. We need to get up to that 100 mark or get over it and uh, see what we can do. Also, for uh, those uh, sitting in the Lurker's Lounge peeking on in, if you have not yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and uh, uh, getting us uh, that little bit of a uh, support that way 
and that would really be awesome. And on that friendly note, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. I'm going to go take a break. Don't go away. I'll be back in five or six minutes. And uh, keep smiling. Play nice in the lava. What you're seeing on the screen is the uh, Siggy Fisher from uh, August uh, of uh, last year. Don't go away. We'll be back. Mike is on.
And I'm back. Welcome and welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and you are watching a Volcano X live stream. And oh, mummy, uh, goddess, <laughs> good to have you on board. Uh, Yellowstone, um, Old Faithful is uh, steaming right now, and uh, that is a uh, pretty awesome. And yeah, you got a good point there. Uh, uh, Yona, uh, why do people come to Iceland when they got steam in Yellowstone? It's not the same, and you don't have those good hot dogs there. Thank you for the welcome backs from Alba Girl and Sue and Kevin and uh, Dave and uh, Claire and uh, John and uh, let's see, uh, who else? I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000! And why can't I talk into my ice cream cone? It, it makes just as much a noise. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, pretty awesome. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. It's snowing. Uh, looks like they've got a lot of uh, snow coming down. Klaus, guten Abend. Oder guten Morgen. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just uh, wanted to uh, show that before we head off uh, to... Uh, Go do our earthquakes and uh, let me uh, get my earthquake map ready and uh, we'll uh, go and take a look at uh, what we've got uh, they're zooming in and um, yeah that's okay we'll uh, leave old faithful be and uh, that is all right and uh, let's uh, go and take a look at uh, our earthquakes it's snowing way too much there at the uh, Yellowstone I, I don't like flakes uh, anyway, and let's uh, keep it going. All right, uh, so looking at what we've got on our uh, worldwide earthquake map from uh, the USGS, uh, first thing that sticks out, of course, is uh, this uh, 5.0, and that is uh, near Attic, Alaska. Came in at 6.53 a.m., 45.2 kilometers down, and uh, that is uh, one of the uh, bigger ones up there. There's a bunch of uh, smaller ones. Uh, this one from uh, yesterday at 2241, uh, 35 kilometers down near, uh, uh, where is it, uh, Akutan, if I said that correctly. But I'm uh, not going to worry about that. We do see uh, continued activity of earthquakes at uh, these uh, two. There's a trident a volcano over here. And, uh, of course, uh, this one is... Uh, uh, near a port Hayden, Alaska, and uh, that is our other uh, volcano. Uh, what is it? Uh, Aniakchak, if I said it right. And um, that one, um, not so much right there, but uh, interesting to uh, see. And we do still have a few tremors in uh, the area of uh, Trident, uh, but it seems to have uh, slowed down a bit. Hopefully we'll get some more activity there. Uh, sliding down the uh, coast of um, North America on the western uh, side, nothing uh, sizable till we get uh, down here. Uh, one on top or two on top of uh, the stack here uh, near uh, Mexico. That of course is on top of the uh, Cocos Plate. Uh, that is 4.4 uh, from uh, 9.30 uh, today at uh, 15.8 uh, kilometers down. And the other one, a 4.6 uh, from a 1435. So those are continuing. And of course, uh, this is the uh, Pacific Plate and this is the Cocos Plate. And uh, they're grinding it, uh, grinding into each other. And then we get uh, down here, Panama area, 4.5 from a 6.30 this morning, 6.3 kilometers down. Not seeing anything in South America today, which is uh, really nice. Also not seeing anything out here at South Sandwich Islands, which is um, odd. Normally we see some. Uh, we do see a little quake, and that is right underneath uh, Christchurch. And uh, that is a 4, uh, sorry, 2.9. And that is uh, 2.36 a.m. And uh, that is uh, 17 kilometers down, or 17.1 kilometers down. Now, I want to remind everyone, this whole area is not a good area uh, for earthquakes. It is uh, very uh, prone to liquefaction, um, from what I've read. And uh, that is, it's not a good place to be if you got lots of heavy earthquakes. And 2.9 isn't that bad, though. So, hopefully everything is okay. Coming up a little bit further north, we see here on the Kermadec Ridge, 
Kermadec Islands 5.0 from 4.48 our time, 22.05, or, yeah, sorry, no, 4.48 our time, a 22.5 kilometers down. Ah. Uh, 4.9 also there from 4.37, a 26.2 kilometers down, and another 4.6 from 4.13, 26 and a half kilometers down. And going up here, looking at Fiji, 4.6 there as well, 8.08 a.m., 544.1 kilometers down for that one. Sliding over, uh, this is in the uh, Solomon Islands, uh, kind of the uh, top end where Vanuatu uh, finishes. And uh, But there's a couple of little quakes there, 4.8, and uh, we see that came in uh, yesterday at uh, 22.13, 10 kilometers down. The other one is... Uh, 4.9 Santa Cruz Island and uh, that came in at 20 and uh, 21 uh, yesterday so uh, that's uh, what we've got there and uh, going on uh, looking at uh, the other ones and uh, nothing till we get over here into Indonesia 5.1 uh, there from a uh, 941 189.5 kilometers down we don't see anything else on uh, Java or Sumatra uh, going up here into our Earthquake region, uh, this area of course very susceptible uh, to earthquakes and uh, that is a 4.8 and that is uh, from yesterday 22.52, 8.8 kilometers down, then we have this other one 4.8 and uh, that is uh, from, uh, let's see, uh, when is that from uh, 4.8 from uh, 20.53 uh, yesterday, how come I'm seeing uh, this one here, oh that's uh, this guy, um, yeah, that's the uh, one that we've seen uh, yesterday, or a couple of days ago, and that's that 6.3 there, and uh, that would uh, that was a big shaker uh, for them. Uh, also, 4.9 uh, northern uh, portions of the uh, Philippines uh, from uh, 2:14 a.m. Uh, 37.8 uh, kilometers down. And then we have uh, this one um, north of uh, Japan. That is in the uh, uh, Corral Island area or whatever you want to call it up there uh, disputed islands as far as uh, Japan is concerned 11.58 was the time on that and that's 134.3 kilometers down and up here on the Kamchatka Peninsula on not the normal side usually we see them over here and um, seeing them on the back side it's kind of weird Al, um, what is it? Um, Mikovo Mikovo, Russia, and that is uh, a 4.1 from a 6.49 and a 436 kilometers down, uh, very deep, and of course that would make sense because that um, plate uh, curls in downward underneath there, so uh, uh, curls pretty sharply. Uh, moving over, let's uh, get over here, and uh, this would be in uh, Afghanistan, 4.2. Uh, 2.59 a.m., 114.3 kilometers down for that. Uh, we uh, don't see anything uh, down here in the Indian Ocean area, and uh, nothing on the uh, Mid-Indian Ridge, which is uh, pretty good, uh, but we do see uh, one here, and uh, this, of course, uh, is a 4.4, and uh, it's a Bukukat, a Turkey, or Turkey, uh, yesterday's from 1926 and uh, 10 kilometers down that of course is in that same region um, where we have uh, uh, what is the name of that uh, at Atakia Atakia well and that's actually a different area here Saddam Gang Gad Gag Dang Saddam Sadman Dang uh, area okay boy as uh, some of those names sometimes I can uh, pronounce them fairly well other times I can't <laughs> anyway that's what we've got uh, cooking as far as uh, those earthquakes uh, let's uh, take a quick look here though uh, we do see some uh, renewed activity or more happening in uh, this region uh, right around uh, uh, our wonderful uh, coast uh, uh, Puerto Rico that's the word I'm looking for Virgin Islands 3.2, uh, 614 a.m., 24 kilometers down, uh, 3.4, uh, Puerto Rico 1132, 
and then we've got another 3.3 and and then it's uh, just north of Puerto Rico there 1826 yesterday 36 uh, uh, kilometers down for that guy and uh, this one here the Samona Passage um, is what they call that uh, 3.7 from uh, 1316 uh, today 24 kilometers down and of course that hot spot there continues with all kinds of quakes I'm not going to get into those it uh, that's just continuous there every day grandma B saying I'm back tomorrow or, or back or what uh, tomorrow back to a chicken back to chicken Oh, okay. Um, I hope your chicken is tasty. Uh, I want something to eat, too. I'm hungry. Uh, it's getting that time. Uh, this one is uh, from yesterday. Won't bother with it. Uh, that 4.0. Let's uh, take a look at what's uh, going on new here. Actually, let me refresh that. Uh, that wasn't uh, that new. I need to refresh once in a while. All right, uh, let's see. Did we have? Yeah, there's the new one. That's what I was looking for. And that is another 4.0 happened at 1451. And that, of course, is on the uh, end of our uh, uh, East uh, Azores uh, Fault. And that 4.0 is uh, 35 uh, kilometers down. And uh, that is what we had over there. And then, of course, uh, yesterday we had these so uh, that is kind of uh, what we've got going on let's uh, take a look at uh, this though nothing uh, for today in la palma and, and that is really nice for them and um yep add bacon to that uh, and that'd be uh, good uh had a steak tonight uh oh steak dinner mm, steak bacon wrap steak bacon wrap chicken Ooh. Is Piggy still here? Oops, I hope she's sleeping. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get over uh, to our... Um, got, uh, what? Uh, got Dr. Fox going. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Um, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> uh, let's renew this real quick. And see what we've got. Uh oh snowflakes coming for tonight. And then uh, Tuesday again, some more snowflakes. Um, not so good. Oh, I got a map there. I didn't want that. Um, we see all that SO2 that was uh, pluming over in uh, the uh, Russian uh, area. Uh, did make it over uh, to uh, northern portions of Canada and along on the uh, west coast. Uh, so um, higher SO2 levels uh, everywhere from about uh, the bottom end of uh, Montana, or it's not Montana, Washington on up. Uh, all the way into Alaska, of course, and uh, that is uh, getting all over uh, British Columbia, Vancouver Island, all those areas. We do see some uh, open stuff here in Montana and Idaho and uh, portions of uh, Oregon, so that's not so bad. But um, uh, northern Alberta, uh, pretty nasty. Uh, northern Saskatchewan, some open stuff. Southern Saskatchewan, some open stuff. And uh, Kevin Haynes, good night to you and take care. Um, looks like a Manitoba light coverings and then we see what we've got here uh, for uh, Ontario and uh, bottom end of uh, Quebec uh, fairly um, normal for uh, there looks like around the uh, Great Lakes uh, regions uh, some of those uh, rainstorms have uh, washed out some of that SO2 it's not so bad for them and uh, looks like uh, New Brunswick and uh, Nova Scotia not bad and uh, same thing uh, over here in Newfoundland, a little bit uh, more up here in, in Labrador for some reason, but um, that's what we've got. Uh, southwestern uh, states looking uh, pretty good. And then uh, we get down to the Mexico, northern uh, portions of uh, Mexico, not that bad, but we do see what's coming off of Popocate Petal and of course uh, Mexico City, and uh, that is still pluming up and uh, getting into uh, portions of uh, Texas Louisiana, Mississippi, and uh, maybe even uh, traveling into Alabama a little bit as well. And uh, here we see our stuff coming out into uh, the Pacific from Central America as well as South America. Glad to see this is uh, starting to lighten up. It does look like they may have some rain or something happening in here. And uh, just off the uh, coast of uh, 
uh, northern uh, Chile and uh, southern uh, Peru. So that's good. Normal stuff in uh, the rest of uh, South America. Won't worry about it. Um, looking at this, this is kind of an odd uh, plume. I wonder what caused that. Um, surely not just snow melt. Um, but anyway, let's uh, carry on. And we uh, see not so much uh, from a White Isle uh, volcano and uh, very little from the refineries there in uh, Australia and then of course uh, still the coking plants are putting out some stuff uh, what uh, Cynthia says I felt an earthquake uh, last night Southern California does that show on your uh, charts um, yeah, well we can take a look at there in a second let me finish the SO2 stuff and then we'll uh, go revisit that um, was it just a little one, uh, Cynthia, or uh, there was uh, some small stuff there, so we'll uh, maybe uh, take a look, but uh, give me a sec, let me finish the uh, SO2, and then we can have a quick peek. Uh, Tofua, pretty normal there, <coughs> and uh, a little lighter from uh, Yasur and uh, Eoba and uh, Gawa, uh, there in Vanuatu, and uh, not so heavy uh, from uh, those guys in uh, um, uh, Papua New Guinea area and that area and it looks uh, not bad uh, Luola talk still there and of course Semeru probably being uh, the heavier output here uh, but uh, that's all being helped with everything that's kind of stacking up as the flow goes eastward over top of uh, Java in Indonesia there and uh, Merapi and uh, Krakatau as well as uh, Jakarta are all stacking that up if you will uh, pretty normal looking on Sumam, uh, Sumatra, and uh, nothing uh, out of uh, the ordinary. I'm going to leave uh, that be. Ebu, uh, Ebu and Dekono still uh, doing their thing. Hardly anything from uh, the uh, Philippines, uh, so that's a good sign. Uh, easing up there, and uh, not so much from uh, uh, Subanosi Jima, but uh, Sakura Jima. Uh, definitely put out a lot of SO2 in the last uh, 24 hours and I'm sure ASO is helping it you can see this area here that is of course where ASO volcano is located and uh, going up and uh, we uh, already kind of mentioned about the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula not so bad and uh, that doesn't uh, look uh, bad at all when you look at it uh, so a little easier there for those guys. Uh, looks like India is a whole bunch heavier as far as SO2 today. Not sure if that's because of the uh, way the um, uh, climate is circulating. Uh, nothing down in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka doesn't have any heavy industry anyway. And uh, the uh, plume from our uh, gold smelting plants of South Africa still there. And then of course uh, DR Congo, a couple of volcanoes. Urta Ale doing its thing right there. You can see a little bit of a plume, not a much. And then, of course, these other spots that are so heavy are from the oil refineries that we have in the uh, what we refer to as the Middle East. And going over, taking a look at what's coming out of Etna, and not too, too much. But Etna and the Stromboli and Volcano all together are making that little bit of a plume. And that is uh, blowing a uh, north uh, northeast there, over top of the uh, boot of Italy. Uh, Spain looks pretty darn clean. Uh, France a little bit, and uh, Germany a little bit, not bad. Uh, England and uh, Ireland and Scotland and uh, those areas very very low, as far as emissions are concerned. And uh, looking at uh, what we see in Sweden and Norway and Finland, pretty clean. And Iceland has got nothing. Uh, Iceland is uh, doing well. Okay, uh, Kevin is out. And let's see, a five-minute warning. I had that. I just wanted to go back to the earthquake uh, chart real quick or map and uh, see if we had uh, Southern uh, California. Uh, whereabouts in Southern California? L.A. area? Uh, there was a bunch of little uh, guys here. I'm um, not sure exactly where you're at, Cynthia, so um, there's uh, this one. This is fairly new. Uh, this uh, came uh, as a 2.1 at uh, 1622, but you said last night. 
Uh, Redondo Beach. Oh, okay. I so, saw uh, down here somewhere. Um, this area. Uh, it doesn't look like there's all that much going on there. Um, you might have felt some of these. There's a real small point eight. Here's a 1.4 at Beaumont. Um, that would have been in the early hours, so uh, this is uh, a note from the 21st. Uh, this is uh, from the 23rd. The other one is uh, from uh, the 23rd at 6 a.m. So I don't know. Um, I really don't see uh, that much down there. Um, that should be... Uh, Redondo Beach is isn't it down here somewhere or am I in the wrong place? Uh, no, Redondo Beach is uh, here. So um, Yeah, that'd be right in there. So if uh, The only two that we see in that area is at 2.1 from uh, yesterday morning at 618 and uh, No, not yesterday two days ago so uh, the other one of course is a 1.5 and uh, that's also two days ago from the 23rd uh, but we didn't see anything from last night uh, the uh, closest uh, thing that would have been around there would be these over here and i don't think you would have felt that those those are too small and uh, this guy here one 1 1.0 you wouldn't have felt that on the 25th so i don't know um you felt a little uh, okay don't know i can't uh, can't see anything that would have shaken you up there so hopefully uh, that uh, by a uh, torrents um yeah there really is nothing uh, showing on uh, this map uh, so i don't uh, don't think and they show some of the pretty small ones in that ear area like the 1.5s and stuff so if there was something it might have been really really small and very localized uh, in your area, Redondo Beach, Torrance, right there. Um, this is a couple of days ago, so I don't um, don't think there's anything there. Let's um, we can uh, double check on this one, but then I got to get going for my break here. So, um, yeah, I don't see anything on this map either. So, um, nothing in the uh, the last 24 hours or 48 hours uh, showing uh, there for them. So, um, you sure it was that? Maybe some uh, big train or something? Okay, a train then. All right, no worries. All right, let's uh, put this uh, back on the uh, lava. I'm going to go take that break. Don't go away, you guys. Hit that like button if you haven't done so yet. We are at 97. Uh, only three more to go to get to that 100 mark. That would be really awesome. Uh, when we come back, we will uh, get over to our um, SO2 map first, and uh, then we will uh, take a look at our uh, weather, whether we like it or not, and um, we'll uh, see how uh, things go uh, while we did the SO2, and we'll uh, get over at the weather. <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh, the stream will end early today for a change, and I can go have some dinner. I can dream about having Icelandic hot dogs. On that friendly note, uh, yeah, you're welcome, Cynthia. And uh, like I say, hit that like button if you haven't done so. And I will be back after the break. Don't go away. Keep smiling. Play nice in the lava. Thanks.
I've got the microphone back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. Uh, glad to have you here. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. You're watching Volcano X a live stream, and uh, it's a time for our wonderful weather. Uh, thank you for the uh, welcome backs from uh, John Raper and uh, Dave. Uh, the uh, LOL, or yeah, it's a Gemma LOL Super Kitty and two. Uh, Dave and Claire and I hear you Dr. Fox 2000 uh, from Sharon Stewart <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat so I, I gotta try to not uh, yell <laughs> anyway thank you uh, oh mummy goddess <laughs> thanks and uh, whether or not a time you got it and uh, whether we like it or not yeah I'm gonna wash that froggy away hang on Ah, uh, ribbit. Ah, uh, there we go. Got that going. That's better, I think. I think. Anyway, let's uh, uh, stop our wonderful fountaining lava here. I'm going to pause it. So oh, I love having that power. That is so nice. Pepsi Quake. Oh, yeah. Um, let's get over to the weather map, whether we like it or not. Thank you, Sue. I think we got everything. Or uh, did I miss uh, something, uh, Sue? I was uh, trying to uh, go through. Um, I missed Shivalish, didn't I? Darn it. Let's uh, see. I'll uh, do Shivalish. I'll do Shivalish right now. Uh, how about that? Um, huh. Darn it, I forgot to do a shibboleth. Um, I seen that in there in the emails and I uh, completely messed that up. So anyway, shibboleth real quick, uh, just so we have the report so we don't miss that. Uh, what, uh, Kamchatka, Russia is uh, where it's located. And of course it uh, shows uh, uh, what the... Uh, Exclusive uh, activity of the volcano remains intense, and uh, that is a pretty awesome uh, picture. And um, glowing a lava dome and uh, rock falls at a chivalrous volcano yesterday, and uh, that is a pretty uh, cool looking. And uh, that's uh, what it looks like a little bit uh, further away. Collapsing uh, parts of the uh, dome uh, sometimes uh, lift ash plumes. So uh, pretty cool. And um, that is uh, from uh, our wonderful uh, Shivalish up uh, there in Alaska. So I uh, didn't want to leave uh, that one out. And uh, it says uh, emissions of uh, gas and steam uh, plumes uh, with minor amounts of ash reached uh, 12,000 feet or 3,700 meters and uh, 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters in the past few days. So it's uh, definitely active and uh, that's kind of what we got there just so we uh, don't miss that guy. Anyway, um, got rid of that. We'll uh, continue on with our weather and of course that is over here uh, somewhere in the uh, minus 18 to 22 uh, range. <laughs> Very cold. Uh, Alaska uh, looking uh, pretty chilly. Uh, most of the Yukon as well and uh, portions of uh, Northwest Territories a little bit warmer and then we get over into none of it which I really want none of it. And uh, Northern uh, British Columbia still uh, showing a few uh, really really cold spots. Uh, Vancouver coming in at a uh, 4 today and uh, over there and uh, the rock we've got about a three or four uh, where a bomb is located and uh, that is uh, kind of what we've got there and let's uh, go over to uh, Edmonton real quick and see uh, looks like about minus nine minus ten uh, right now not so bad uh, minus two in Calgary looks like uh, they've got a Chinook going through down here in Lethbridge at plus four melting all the snow Kananaskis country and swift current only at the minus one right now and uh, that is uh, not bad and uh, that is uh, okay Regina is minus eight you can see where that cold cuts off uh, or uh, continues uh, from uh, the warmer air being pushed in and of course uh, going over to Winterpeg, Winnipeg I mean uh, minus eight 
and um, oh boy, a Judy M has uh, got about minus 11 or 12 out in her region. Uh, looking at uh, most of uh, northern Ontario, not so warm. And uh, we uh, go over to uh, Toronto, looks like uh, anywhere from about minus 2 to minus 4, depending on where you put your hamster. Uh, minus a 2 in London, Detroit a little bit warmer at a, a 5, and uh, Chicago, uh, Tom and Pepper's Place at uh, 2 degrees uh, Celsius. Henry Nelson is about a minus 1 or minus 2 over here. And uh, then we get over up uh, the uh, uh, St. Lawrence Seaway a little bit. Montreal minus a 12, Quebec a minus 11 or 12 as well, and northern portions of uh, New Brunswick all the way down to minus 18 in some places. The uh, coastal area is a little bit less at uh, minus uh, 11 or 12 or 13, uh, depending on where you are. And uh, Halifax coming in at about uh, in 8 or 9 and below. And um, then uh, Coal Harbor about the same. So um, for a Sioux, uh, Tom says thumbs up. Yep, nice Tom. <laughs> and uh, um, minus 18 to minus a 20 up here. Not so nice for a New Bruns or um, Newfoundland. I mean, a little warmer out here in the Avalon Peninsula, but not by much. Let's uh, slide over to the other side, and uh, we'll uh, get uh, some of these places. Uh, five in uh, Port uh, Seattle. Uh, five in uh, Portland. Uh, we'll go down to San Jose. Looks like they got about nine, uh, eight in Sacramento, still getting rain there. And uh, Los Angeles about, um, well, looks like, again, uh, where do you point the mouse? Uh, 10, 11, 12, and Mexicali at 17. Uh, Death Valley coming in at about uh, 16 degrees. Thank you, Sue. Uh, Las, Las Vegas about 11 degrees. Uh, Phoenix uh, coming in at about uh, 13 and uh, 11 and uh, Tucson. And uh, look at this a very interesting uh, slice of uh, heat coming up here. Albuquerque is in the cold at uh, 5 degrees, but uh, looks like Amarillo, Texas uh, at 17. Down on the bottom of Texas, it's all starting to really heat up. Corpus Christi 22, San Antonio 26. Uh, 24 in Austin and uh, Houston about uh, 20 uh, uh, what is it 24 there Dallas 21 uh, sneaking around a little bit Little Rock Arkansas about uh, 14 right now New Orleans 23 uh, down here in Miami uh, 24 25 Jacksonville coming in at about uh, 24 Looking at Atlanta, 19, uh, 18, 19, again, depends on where you point the uh, hamster. And you can see that cutoff line there because Grandma B wants it colder so she can have her chicken. And um, that's 11 or 12 there in uh, uh, Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. And about 50, 50 degrees of Fahrenheit there. Thomas Neal, uh, do snowflakes, uh, Arizona, Dr. F. Fox. Uh, no, no snowflakes in Arizona right now, uh, Thomas. Uh, and uh, welcome, uh, good to have you on board. Haven't seen you for a while. Um, anyway, uh, 10 there uh, for uh, Grandma B. Philadelphia, about a 7. New York, about 7. Boston, uh, getting into the icebox and about... Uh, minus a two Celsius so yeah um, yeah I don't think there's that much of snow there well there could be some uh, snow in uh, the uh, northern or highlands of uh, Arizona I don't know if uh, there's snow there yep and a little bit in the uh, not at Phoenix though so that's uh, what you got so if you're going there you're gonna uh, bring a jacket <laughs> stay warm Looks like that cold was still trying to get down that Baja, but it's not winning. The, the heat is uh, starting to uh, get a push up there. Mazatlan 21-22 right now. And uh, we see this uh, uh, really getting warmer there in um, Mexico. Uh, Mexico City uh, coming at it at 20. Alcapulco 29, 28-29. Uh, Cancun about 25-26. Uh, Central America not uh, too bad. 
uh, quite warm in uh, um, our wonderful uh, Colombia as well as uh, Venezuela uh, in the uh, low 30s which is uh, pretty awesome and then you see some high 20s in most of uh, Brazil until you get down to the south here where it seems to be a little uh, colder but uh, looks like uh, Bolivia and Paraguay uh, about all the same there tw anywhere from about 22 to about 26 and of course the highlands going to be a little bit colder and uh, looking at um, uh, Argentina looks almost warm all the way through here uh, seeing about 18 20 uh, the further north you go the warmer it gets Buenos Aires coming in at uh, 22 uh, and uh, the uh, Moncas are there at Paysandu about 25 degrees today so uh, that is uh, not so bad we've got uh, Rio de Janeiro at 26 Sao Paulo at about uh, 23 let's uh, go over here and take a look at uh, the uh, colder areas of uh, what we see here why is it so cold and uh, they should be warm uh, 18 and uh, 19 degrees there in the uh, South Island Christchurch at 19 that's actually not that bad and uh, 23 over on the uh, western side Wellington about uh, 18 degrees right now Taupo probably coming in about 18 19 as well Auckland at about 20 hopefully uh, they are drying out we do see some uh, 22s along the uh, coastal uh, areas and Tasmania cooled off a bunch uh, about uh, 14 uh, 15 uh, there in Hobart and uh, Leo's place about 18 degrees in Melbourne roughly and uh, let's see actually very nice and uh, Dinkle Storm Chaser just gifted a one a membership that is a wonderful uh, Barbara thank you uh, just gonna write that down Dinkle a Storm Chaser and uh, I'm just going to put Barbara. Uh, there we go. A gifted one. Thank you very kindly for that, uh, Barbara. And uh, hopefully uh, someone will uh, pick that up. And if not, uh, you'll end up getting your money back. And uh, Sydney coming in there at about 24. We had a small Aurora Northern Lights in the Netherlands. Oh, awesome uh 28 in brisbane home of oz that is a uh, pretty cool or nice warm i guess uh, cooler than uh, 40 but uh nicer than uh, uh than uh, 20. uh 25 in uh, perth uh normal stuff for yep for uh the uh fiji area we do see 94p here that storm uh, just north of uh, Vanuatu and uh, that is uh, what's going on there normal temperatures 29 28 uh, same thing uh, with um, uh, 26 to about uh, 28 uh, there in um, New Caledonia a little cooler today uh, for most of uh, Papua New Guinea not by much though eastern uh, Indonesia not uh, bad looking looks like uh, they're a little cooler as well same thing goes for uh, what we're seeing uh, there in, uh, uh, in the uh, east uh, uh, indonesian islands <laughs> anyway um pretty normal though uh i just wanted to see well, what's our high temperature out here about 36 is the highest i see and uh, that still breaks uh yeah that's still the highest places in uh, on earth right now as far as uh, temperatures and let's go up to uh, Bangkok uh, 22 21 uh, 20 on the map here so not quite as warm today uh, that the cold is pushing back down uh, 26 in uh, Manila and we can see that cold trying to push its uh, way down looking at what we see Kagoshima only nine right now and uh, that's not so good for them we do still see uh, single digits all over the place and some uh, minus temperatures on the uh, northern half of the uh, main island and then of course up in the top here very cold temperatures again we've got uh, some arctic blast coming in there minus nine in Sapporo uh, that is not so good for them and uh, very cold on the Kamchatka Peninsula 
and let's uh, go over here looks like uh, still a fairly uh, fairly cold and hair all of a sudden in uh, Sri Lanka not so good for them Delhi uh, sitting at about a 16 17 that's a pretty normal uh, at least it's not um, uh, down in the single digits anymore and uh, pretty normal for Madagascar they've got a high sitting on top of them now that'll keep them a little warmer for a while and uh, nicer weather hopefully 17 in uh, Cape Town bottom end of uh, Africa looking uh, pretty good Central Africa starting to really heat up and uh, that's uh, nice to see uh, 30 t degree temperatures they've been cold too long and we see that um, going over across Libya here uh, that heat wave and uh, that is starting to push back up Cairo making it to a 12 today and we even see some heat uh, here in Saudi Arabia and the UAE up to 25 26 degrees that is awesome for those guys still a little cooler in Oman and Yemen but uh, that's okay the heat will keep coming and uh, Baghdad made it up to 15 today and uh, let's see what uh, those uh, people along the uh, coastal areas here uh, 12 and uh, at, at what is it at uh, boy I sometimes I can't get it out uh, and Akia and Akia <laughs> there we go uh, 10 and Adana that's uh, not bad and uh, we are seeing a little bit above uh, freezing uh, temperatures uh, for the most part in uh, those portions of uh, Turkey now which is really good for them and uh, let's see uh, what we got uh, for a piggy should be about uh, 16 degrees according to the map 16 thank you sue for bringing that up and looks like a uh, crete is uh, warming up a whole bunch uh, too that is a uh, really nice uh, sicily still looks cold though and uh, that is uh, not so good redanzo uh, showing a three on the map here and um, four on what Sue brought up. So uh, we'll call it three and a half degrees. Uh, sliding up a little bit and uh, seeing uh, Sardinia about, oh, I don't know, uh, single digits, not good. That low was probably messing them up and giving them rain. Still not that warm in Spain. I don't know what's going on. That cold is uh, continuing to push down here. Uh, we uh, see uh, Madrid coming in at about one or two and Aurelio's house is still minus one uh, darn that is uh, too cold and uh, Nantes uh, coming in at uh, two there Paris is a uh, one uh, quick peek at uh, Munich minus three not good uh, minus two in Frankfurt Cologne at zero uh, Yvonne Kunkel's house zero uh, UFO Lux has got a plug in his uh, UFO at minus two minus three Brussels about a zero and uh, Amsterdam coming in at about two degrees let's slide up and take a look at uh, uh, minus a uh, two in uh, Berlin uh, minus uh, one or two in Hamburg uh, Copenhagen uh, coming in at about uh, zero uh, very close to it and same thing uh, goes for our uh, roughly and uh, Oslo coming in at about one degree right now Stockholm minus three but we see warmer temperatures up north that's really odd St. Petersburg uh, minus eight right now and Moscow coming in about a minus four getting over to England only one degree in London and it looks like uh, they've got a bad circulation uh, keeping that warm air from coming in and uh, that is this high and that high needs to move away uh, somewhere else uh, Glasgow uh, zero Aberdeen uh, one and uh, looking at uh, Dublin uh, coming in at a uh, four only about a uh, two over here in uh, our uh, wonderful uh, Irish monks home and uh, we'll see if it uh, says a uh, two it says four there wow and that is uh, that's better uh, we do see that warm air though is making it up to Iceland so uh, they are uh, doing their thing we have a uh, kind of a polar vo vortex uh, that's giving us strange weather yeah I believe that uh, Barbara <laughs> it looked that way uh, looks like about a seven or eight there in Reykjavik thank you Sue and if you're going to go volcano watching uh, it's going to be windy but uh, at least it's above freezing
So uh, that's kind of a, what we see uh, temperature wise. Let's uh, take a look and see what we've got for precipitation. Going to make this real quick. Alaska, a little bit there, a little bit in the Northwest Territories. British Columbia, all the way along the coast, all the way down to um, uh, past San Jose. Uh, they've got rain showers intermittently and snow uh, flurries, depending on where you are. Alberta looks like they are supposed to get uh, some snow. We're supposed to have some snow here. Uh, during the uh, late hours, Saskatchewan, uh, northern portions of uh, snow, um, not uh, too bad around the, uh, we got a high sitting here in uh, northern Ontario, that's uh, going to keep uh, them not too bad, but around the Great Lakes, northern uh, portions are going to see some uh, snow as well, and then we see uh, uh, New York, New Hampshire, and those areas are going to get a little bit of uh, flaking as well. And looks like Asu is going to be in for some more snow out there at her place. And hopefully not too much. And we do see a little bit out in Newfoundland as well. Nothing up in northern Quebec and uh, uh, Labrador. So that's okay. And uh, we do see the uh, snow and ice rain and stuff uh, there in uh, um Montana, Idaho, uh, Wyoming, and of course we've seen, we seen it was snowing in Yellowstone, so that's what we got there. This uh, storm, more water for Sacramento, uh, those uh, poor people are uh, going to drown. I mean, it's either it's too dry or it's too much rain. Um, not bad though. Um, they need that rain to uh, fill up the, uh, the lakes and uh, the uh, groundwater levels. We do see this storm out here in Kansas and uh, northern uh, Texas, and uh, that'll end up uh, moving, I don't know where, uh, looks like it's uh, being pushed from the west and being pushed from the north and uh, getting some winds uh, from the side. That is tornado weather, uh, so watch out, you guys. Uh, when you got uh, three directions of wind, uh, you'll have uh, tornadoes very quickly. A little bit of rain out here in Arkansas and it looks like um, a little bit uh, here in uh, Tennessee and what's right north of uh, Tennessee I can't remember uh, anyway <laughs> it's uh, um, oh hang on what state is this uh, quick somebody tell me what state is that um, north of uh, Tennessee uh, Kentucky, there we go. Uh, I was going to say, uh, isn't that the bluegrass state? And uh, that was what was coming into mind. Uh, but uh, thank you. And uh, thanks, uh, Sharon. And of course, uh, there we go. Um, uh, next year, I'm going to, uh, to the U.S. to visit my family and uh, chase tornadoes. Well, you better stay safe, Barbara. Some of those are not very friendly. And uh, looking at uh, Central America, not uh, too much rain. Of course, the rainforest getting rain. And uh, Peru and uh, Bolivia. And uh, uh, some up here in uh, Paraguay, northern uh, Argentina. And then, of course, we see uh, some of this uh, going on here uh, just uh, south of uh, Sao Paulo as well. A southern end of uh, Chile. And uh, getting, of course, uh, that low down there, making uh, more water. And uh, here's what New Zealand doesn't want to see. Another storm coming by and uh, dumping more and more water on those guys. And uh, I pity them up in the northern area here. They've been flooded out way too much already. And dry in Tasmania, dry in most of Australia with the exception of the uh, top area. Looks like uh, this uh, storm here, 94P, will end up uh, making uh, Fiji and Vanuatu have some problems. And then we have another low sitting in here doing the same kind of thing. And uh, yeah, uh, you take a look at Indonesia, Malaysia, and then the Philippines. Rain, 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 rain. And uh, going up and uh, looking at uh, Japan. Actually, uh, Japan doesn't have too much precipitation, which is uh, really good for them. Kamchatka Peninsula looks uh, dry too. India is dry. Sri Lanka, no, uh, no big piles of rain. Uh, that low was still sitting here, and we remember that was Freddy, and uh, it's now just a low, and it's stagnant and staying there. 
hopefully it'll move. <laughs> Freddie was a slow mover, but he lasted a long time. Uh, Central Africa, of course, of the rainforesty areas are getting rain, and then we see some over here where it's actually quite hot. That's all right. Uh, taking a look at our uh, people uh, for uh, Turkey, I'm happy it's not raining there right now, and that'll uh, make it a little easier for them. A piggy might get some rain. It looks like she's getting some rain right now, so that'll be okay. They do need some more moisture there. And, of course, we see all kinds of rain going up here and uh, uh, Croatia and uh, Albania and uh, those areas. Um, that whole area is uh, getting nailed. And it looks like uh, Sicily has uh, got uh, some uh, rain happening as well. Lots of uh, stormy uh, stuff as well as uh, most of Italy uh, getting uh, rained upon and snow up in northern Italy. And uh, what we got here, uh, most of uh, Spain is uh, dry, Portugal is dry, but we do have here uh, near Barcelona, they've got uh, a storm happening south, uh, southeastern uh, portions of uh, France, and uh, just, I guess, uh, in the uh, southern portions of the Alps, uh, getting uh, some rain, not about, and rain and snow, I should say, and nothing in uh, Germany for the most part, or Holland, or... Uh, there in Belgium and Luxembourg, uh, no rain in Denmark, uh, which is a little better, and the south end of uh, Sweden and Norway are uh, fairly dry, but of course, uh, interior of Sweden has got some stuff happening there, rain and snow and ice rain, and then of course, uh, the Norwegian coast. <laughs> it's always raining there. We do see some uh, rain up here in uh, northern, or snow in uh, northern uh, Finland, and uh, lo and behold, we've got some uh, rain uh, here in uh, Iceland and uh, some uh, snow in the interiors. Did I miss England? Uh, yeah, not much happened in there. A few isolated spots. But uh, fog, if you want fog. And uh, we do see this low, though, and I wonder where that's going to end up going. That right now, of course, is pulling the uh, jet, uh, jet stream air up northward, so... Um, same with uh, this one, the circulation, of course, uh, being uh, the right way. Um, looking uh, here in our wonderful uh, Canary Islands, uh, not uh, bad, no, uh, no storms. Let's get over to the uh, temperatures and uh, find our coldest uh, temperatures on the planet. And we'll uh, zoom in a little bit and uh, see what we've got. Uh, so far, minus uh, 49, I can see. Uh, but uh, it's got to be colder than that. And this is the Antarctic. And uh, we'll uh, see uh, minus uh, 50, uh, minus uh, 51, minus uh, 52 already. I'm uh, right there. And uh, let's see, uh, do we have a minus uh, 53? Uh, we have a minus uh, 52. Um, where's a minus uh, 53? I'm just a scanning for it. Minus a 52. Uh, 49. Nope. Warmer over there. And let's see if we zoom in a little bit and find that minus a 52. Oh, I seen it. It's right in here. Minus a 53. Okay. So we got minus a 53. Do we have a minus a 54? And. I am a doubtful. Minus a 53 for sure. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a minus 54. Let's uh, take a look down on the bottom end here, though. Right near the pole, uh, somewhere, minus a 48. 48, uh, 46. No, that don't look good. 44, 46, 47. Uh, 48, let's work that area a little bit, 49, uh, right there, yeah, I think minus 53 is going to be about it, we see that low sitting in here, it's always uh, warmer around the low, oh, hang on, uh, there's a minus 50, let's see if we can uh, find anything uh, right in here, uh, we uh, need minus uh, 53, so, minus uh, 50, and I don't think so. 
I'm going to go with minus uh, 53 and four there in Antarctica. I'm not going to chase uh, anything else. Um, not a good weather for a swimsuit outside. No, uh, no, minus 52. Minus uh, 53, and that is um, pretty uh, cold. Um, anyway, let's uh, take a look uh, for uh, Greenland. Uh, so far, a minus 40 right there. Uh, let's see. It looks like the uh, warmer... All the islands up here, I can't cheat. And they're warm. <laughs> uh, minus 40. Let's see if we can uh, find a minus 41 in this... Uh, or minus 42... No, I'm not a very good. Uh, boy, a minus a 40. Let's zoom in on that. Let's see if we can scan back and forth for a minus a 41. And I'm not seeing it. Minus a 40. Hmm. Well, I think I might have to live with a minus 40. I hope not. A minus a 40. Okay, uh, so a minus 40. Um, yeah, that's all I can see. There's a high down here, high there. Messing us up. A minus a 40 is the cold temp there in Greenland. And uh, let's uh, go over to, uh, let's see what we've got in the uh, Canadian Arctic and uh, find uh, what whoa that is a quick minus a 46 uh, that is cold and do we have anything a uh, colder right there minus oh 47 i seen uh, there so and that is um, neat minus a 47 so we got to beat minus a 47 a minus a 43 there, 41. Let's uh, zoom back out a little bit and check over here. 40, 41. That's not going to work. Minus a 43. Uh, 40, 40. No, no. Minus a 43. No good. Let's go over here and uh, take a look. So I got to beat a minus a 47. Uh, minus uh, 45 right there. Let's see if we find anything colder. Um, minus uh, 47 we need to beat. What about on this side? It looks colder over here. Minus uh, 45, 46. There's a uh, 47. I got minus uh, 48. Uh, right there. Minus a 48. Uh, okay. We need to beat minus a 48. And uh, minus a 44. That ain't going to do it. 46. Nope. No. Maybe I'm back over here. And we'll see if we can uh, check around uh, that area. Minus a 45. We found minus 48 in there, so uh, let's see, uh, 42s, 39s, no, nope, uh, that is uh, getting a lot warmer there. Minus 48 so far, and uh, there's somewhere in here, 45, let's see if we can uh, find it, a uh, minus uh, 49. Uh, I want a minus 49. Well, I don't really want it, but for this uh, chasing the weather, I want to go uh, find it. Minus a 40. Oh, there's a minus a 49 right there. Okay, uh, do we have a minus a 50? Now we need a minus a 50. 49 is there, and we need a minus a 50. Uh, 43. No, minus 49, 48, 47, 43, sometimes we get something here. No, don't see it. Don't see it. Uh, minus 
minus a 49 is what I've got. Let's uncheck the uh, the mainland. This, of course, is uh, one of the islands, Baffin Island. And uh, let's see if uh, there's uh, something colder over here. Minus 37s. No, that don't look very cold. Minus 40, 41, 42. We've got minus 49. We need a colder than a minus 49. There's a minus 43, minus a 44 right there. And uh, that looks like just an isolated spot right in there. So where else can we look? Um, what about these islands in the north? We got minus 49. Uh, they're looking not that cold. And they've got a warmer air up there, which is uh, telling us that uh, spring is on the way. Minus the 49 seems to be the uh, cold number that I've uh, found. So let's uh, leave a minus the 49 as uh, our Canadian Arctic for right now. And uh, what happened to our Russian Siberia? What's with all these highs here? Holy mackerel, highs and lows, I don't know, that is a pretty, uh, pretty nasty, and we got to find uh, something, wow, this looks a uh, warmish, any cold spots in here, uh, minus 37 is so far the coldest, no, I got a minus a 41 over here, per second, uh, minus a 40, Minus a 41 again there. No, that's a 2. We need like minus 59 or something in here. Look at that. Minus 36. You gotta be kidding me. There's the high. Uh, minus a 41, 42. Minus a 42. I had a 43 on there for a second. There's a minus of 43 right on top of that high. And, uh, okay, so minus of 43 so far. And uh, let's see if we can uh, find anything uh, colder than a minus of 43. Um, what about over here? Minus of 43. Come on, minus of 50. Okay, we'll go up north here. Look. Look for a cold. Minus 36. No, that's no good. Get rid of... Oh, I closed my weather program. Darn it. That wasn't very smart, was it? Um, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, what happened? I need to open up a new window. I killed my weather. I hate that. Let's uh, make a new window here. And, uh, um, yep. New window. More weather. There we go. Back to where we were. In the cold. Um, yeah. So we had a minus, uh, well, I, I got confused now. Well, what did I have? Minus uh, 43 or something like that. It wasn't a very, uh, wasn't very cold. There's that high. Yeah, minus the 43. That's what I thought I had. And uh, I don't know. There's got to be a colder temps here somewhere. There's a minus 40 again. Let's zoom in on this area. Minus 41, 42 I seen there. That's not looking good for me. Sue probably found like a minus 80 or something. Um, oh, oh, why can't you see the map? What happened? Uh oh. I gotta get that, that fixed. Let me uh, see if I can uh, fix that real quick. Hmm, that's my bad. There we go. 
Oh, I see what it did. It um, took me to the other place. Okay, and we'll uh, get that fixed up. Uh, thanks for uh, mentioning that. And uh, let me get rid of the other one. Remove. There we go. Yeah. Darn it. I hate when that happens. Uh, we're clicking the wrong thing. Uh, anyway, we had a minus of 43. And uh, I don't know if we're going to uh, be able to get anything uh, colder than a minus of 43. Let's um, take another look up north here. Uh, or maybe in this area? No. Minus of 43 is what I've seen so far. There's a minus of 42. Um, minus of 42. No, that's all I got. A minus of 42. Uh, minus of 43. What? Let me uh, check up here. There should be some residual cold in some of these places, even if it does warm up. Minus of 37. Uh, isolated pockets, maybe. What about here? No, minus 35. No, no, that ain't gonna work. Uh, no, not there. Minus a 41. No, no good. Minus a 39. What about here? No. No, I am not batting 100 today. Uh, minus the 43 is what I had for the cold, and uh, I don't see anything a colder. Minus a 39. Uh, no, I'm not even seeing uh, minus 40s in most of these places. It's almost tropical there for those guys. They'll have to take at least uh, two layers of uh, coats off. Uh, there's a minus a 42 again. Yep. I think I'm uh, just about beat. I uh, bet you Sue I got got like a minus 50 or something up for Siberia. What about over here? No, I looked at that. It's got to be something hiding in here somewhere. Minus a 38. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm I'm gonna give up. It's not that cold. A minus of uh oh. oh. Minus 43 is what I got. So, uh, Sharon, thank you for uh, keeping track of that. And, uh, oh, Sue found minus 53 Antarctica. Okay, that's a tie. She found a minus 41 in Greenland. I only got minus 40, so she beat me there. Antarctica, or Arctic, uh, we I got the same temperature. That's okay, so that's a tie. And uh, Sue whipped me uh, there in uh, Siberia with a, oh, she only found minus 46. So uh, that is uh, not, um, I guess uh, that is what it is. Okay, I'm still feeling cold. Uh, so I'm going to put us uh, back on some warm lava. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, for uh, those good people who are uh, still here, um, thanks uh, everyone uh, for being here. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome, and uh, nice to see you there, uh, Arizona Snowman. Small pocket of cold attempts. Yeah, they are uh, definitely warming up there. And, of course, our high temperature is still there in Australia with uh, 36 degrees, although um, we are coming in uh, pretty close with uh, what we see here in uh, Colombia with uh, their uh, temperature. What happened to my temperatures? Come on, temperatures. Let's uh, change and uh, go back. There we go. Uh, we've got um, um, 34 here. Uh, so uh, Colombia is uh, getting close and um, almost uh, the high, but uh, Australia still wins with a high temp. And um, that is uh, kind of uh, it for today. So. 
um, all good you guys uh, thank you everyone uh, for being here really do appreciate each and every one of you thank you Sue for uh, uh, doing that and hunting uh, for the cold attempts and uh, thank you for the information and uh, appreciate all of it and uh, it's excellent and uh, thanks everyone uh, for being here and helping out and uh, doing our thing hopefully everyone had a good time looking at our volcanoes and uh, tomorrow is going to be a little tougher to uh, name that volcano and uh, it's going to be uh, I'm going to chuckle a little bit because I kind of figured somebody was going to get this one today and uh, you know because of the lava being uh, so close and uh, you know it's when uh, when you realize that yeah, if you can get that close with a camera, which volcano is it? Uh, you know it's not some of the other ones. And uh, there's a Sue off and away uh, going hunting for uh, or uh, dropping uh, food for the animals. All awesome. Anyway, um, only had one uh, super chat today, and that was a small one from Piggy. Thank you very kindly, Piggy, uh, for that. And uh, one fish uh, 26 uh, gifted a five pack of memberships. I only seen two of those go today, so he'll probably get uh, money back on that. And uh, Barbara uh, Dinklestorm Chaser Dutch Weather also uh, threw in a uh, one uh, gift membership, which I did not see go, so uh, she will likely uh, get her money back on that as well from uh, YouTube and um, that is about it for today so um, just that one uh, small uh, super chat that's it um, but I do thank all the members for their support in here that is really awesome and uh, big uh, thank you to um, each and every one of you everyone within that lava family I really do appreciate uh, all of you being here and hopefully um, you've enjoyed the stream today and uh, we're uh, trying to keep it a little bit shorter and of course uh, during the week I am going to try to keep the stream a little bit shorter um, yesterday we went over five hours uh, for duration well actually four uh, four and a half hours is about what we had of uh, on the air and uh, pre uh, pre stream was about half an hour and about 20 minutes after so I'm trying to shorten the uh, stream itself down a little bit uh, because it was supposed to be a two hour stream. It's turned into something massive uh, over four and a half, five hours. And we want to try to keep that a little bit more uh, squished down, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, but anyway, um, hopefully we'll, um, oh wow, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Barbara. That is an awesome super chat and I uh, really do appreciate uh, the uh, uh, two uh, euro super chat and that is uh, very kind of you and uh, that's excellent uh, thank you I'm uh, very kind and uh, anyway um, looks good you guys so uh, again thanks everyone for being here and uh, being a part of our wonderful group it really uh, does mean a lot for me and um, I'm glad that we you know got this a wonderful lava family together and of course we're always looking to uh, uh, grow and expand it and uh, have more people come and uh, I really I do appreciate uh, each and every one of you so on those uh, friendly notes um, I'm gonna say good night to everyone a big uh, thank you to the moderators Arizona snowman a piggy C&D boy uh, Gary 24 7 live AZ skies uh, Joseph Fields and uh, Lucas Snow. Thank you, uh, moderators. You guys are awesome. And a big uh, thank you to each and every one of you and the Lava family. And um, uh, it doesn't matter if you're actually a member or not. You're still part of the group. So uh, thanks, everyone. We really do appreciate all of you. On that note, um, please remember my words. Please tell your loved ones that you love them tonight. For tomorrow is never promised. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Good night, everyone, and remember tomorrow is back to a regular weekday stream. Good night, and oink oink. <laughs>